92.5 FM and also online at mykcr.org. We are Lions. We bring hope where it's needed. Support causes that matter. Change lives. Change communities. Change the world. Visit lionsclubs.org to learn more. Central Hudson reminds you that summer thunderstorms can strike with strong, gusty winds, knocking down trees and power lines. If you see a downed power line, call 911 immediately to report it. Power lines can carry an electric current strong enough to cause injury or death. Stay at least 30 feet away from a fallen line. Don't try to move it or anything that has come in contact with it. And never drive over a power line. Remember, your safety matters. Hi, this is Jared Mans from the Spring Lake Fire Department, and I support Kingston Community Radio, and so should you. This portion of Kingston Community Radio is brought to you by Ulster Savings Bank. Visit their newest branch, conveniently located at the Ulster Commons Plaza in Lake Katrine. Experience the difference that local community banking offers with the convenience of another great location, easy access, plenty of parking, and a 24-hour ATM. Ulster Savings Bank, invested in community, invested in you. Member FDIC. Flash! Ba-ba-ba-boom! All right, man, this is Thunder Thursday. Here we are. Good morning, Kingston. Yeah. Sound like, uh, what's his Adrian name? Adrian Crow now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good yeah. morning, Vietnam. Good morning, Vietnam. Great movie. Yeah, yeah. Robin Williams. Robin great Williams' job. best movie. Yeah. He wasn't great. that funny, but he was good. No, no, him. no. He was excellent. That guy was and good just about anything he did, really. Yeah, right, Mark, Mark was Mark, his best. Mark was Mark his best. and Adrian Crow now. There's, a, there's the plastic Jesus. I don't, I don't care if it rains or freezes as long as I got my plastic Jesus riding on the dashboard of my car. I can go 100 miles an hour as long as I got the almighty power glued up there by my pair of fuzzy dyes. Come in, Rio, Rio, Texas, First Church of the Gooey Death and Discount House of Worship. <laughs> All right, Imus. Our, our homage, our morning homage to Imus. R.I.P. Imus, rest in peace. R.I.P. Radio uh, pioneer. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. He's responsible for How Howard Stern. Yeah, and Howard Stern was a, just a copycat. Yep. You know, at the end of the day, just and, looked, and basically just crude. Yeah, crude. Imus yeah. was funny. Dropped the f bombs all yeah. the time uh, because he was uh, on radio. They could do that. Yeah. But uh, funny yeah. looking guy too. Actually, both yeah, of big, them were funny. Yeah, right, guys. right. Big, yeah, but but yeah, Imus is a marine said, though. I'm, I'm not, face for radio. Yeah, face Imus for was a marine. Marine. Yeah. yeah. Marine What's a marine? Always a marine. By yeah. the way. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So uh, so all good, all good in the world of Kingston, except we're uh, we're stepping good. on uh, we're stepping on body parts. It's not good in Kingston. Not good, man. No, not, it's good. Just not good. I know. I know. Backwards, backwards, uh, backwards. We march. <laughs> <laughs> that should be what they have on the crest. Right. The city crest should say right. backwards we march. Yeah. So we, to, uh, we inherited something running perfectly well, and we right. blanked it up. We blanked yeah. it. We blanked it. Yeah. Good morning to our world headquarters, if you're listening, I hope. Uh, uh, to St. Augustine Cartel, Saint, if right. you're online. You're yeah. Coming down here about a month or so. Oh, I'm on my way, baby. My way. I Spent the day yesterday, I uh, had some time on the phone with uh, Chuck and Bad Andy. Okay. That's um, good. You're prepping. Prepping uh, for your... Uh, Wayne and I texted. He's up at the farm. Right. In Georgia. So you got to come back uh, up. South Carolina. Sorry, South Carolina. Sorry, Blaine. South Carolina. South Carolina. But because your missus is here, and so you're not going down there forever. You're going to pop, pop back in up here. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm going to... That was, yeah. That was, that was a radio. Uh, yes, I am coming back up. Yeah. yeah no. <laughs> All right. We're keeping a home here. We're keeping a residence right, here. Right. 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 City of Kingston. Yeah. I mentioned. You know, I thought maybe I'd mention them to uh, the folks at City Hall. I am a Kingston resident now. Right. Yeah. I could run be, for mayor. Right. You could. But, uh, but, but I'm not going to because I'm leaving. Right. Plus, you'd have another heart attack. I'd have another heart. Well, no, I fixed the city first. Then I'd have another heart attack. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. So, so, so a couple of people have said to me, "What would you do?" I said, "Well, the first thing I do is fire everybody that he hired. Mm -hmm. We don't need. We don't need." We don't need a million dollars in payroll right. for com you know community of uh, twenty two thousand uh, the, uh, the, yeah. the ridiculous positions that have been yeah. forced upon the taxpayers of the city of Kingston to pay. Not no comment on the. I'm not commenting on the, on people, the people themselves. No, no, I'm no, sure no, they're no. wonderful people. Yeah, they are. They are. But uh, we're a city of twenty three thousand people. Right. Uh, yeah. We don't need a community engagement professional. 
Uh, <laughs> I don't even know. What we should just like. engage, yeah, engage the community. Period. Or get engaged. I, 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 I don't know. Yeah, get engaged. Yeah, yeah. So my latest specialist. The, you know, couple rants this morning. Yeah, good. I know they look forward to the rants. Down uh, gotta have the rant. Gotta have uh, the rant. Uh, it ain't Thursday if there's no rant. Things are bad at Deet Stadium. Okay. I have heard from some members of the community. Bad in what sense? Well, the uh, Deet Stadium Commission has been dissolved. Oh, that's bad. Uh, the city now has full control over Deet Stadium. The school does not, and that was so that they could get a, a grant. Yes, CBDG. That, that they were going to use up there, and I think they did to fix the pool, and among, among other things. But now there's no staff there. Oh, okay. That's the problem. That's a problem. So who keeps care of it? Who maintains nope. it? Who? Oh. Oh. Nobody. No. <laughs> oh, man. DPW? Supposed to. Uh, maybe. 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 Parks Department, I believe. Parks. Oh, Parks and Rec. Parks and Rec. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, wow. I had a. I, uh, so who takes care of the bathrooms when they're open? Who does the, all that the stuff? The homeless people that live in them oh. take care of them because they're homeless people <laughs> and living in the bathroom. God no, bless I'm, them. Yeah, God bless them. Yeah. Sorry for them. I happen yeah. to know a couple of them. Yeah. yeah. I say good morning when I go in. Right. Um, hey, that's not a good move. I had an anecdotal story from a friend of mine who is a youth soccer coach mm -hmm. who was chased off the field Eesh. and to his car having racial epithets oh, man. thrown at him um, because he asked the people that were on the field to please m move because <laughs> having he was soccer having practice. soccer practice, right. which he's had there for, I don't know, 15 years. Yeah. Now you can't do that anymore. You can call, I believe, I, I called uh, the, the city hall and asked, you know, what, uh, what, what the, what's the story. Is. So well, you, can, you can get a permit like you can for any city park to use it. And if you have a problem there, you can just call the police. Oh, man. You know, because, you know, they're not busy. They're yeah, not busy yeah. with other shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly. Uh, right, Deet Stadium in a dumpster. So, so I, listen, I hope that that gets squared away. Yeah. I was a fan of the way it was run between the, high, between the school district and the city, and I believe they still share ownership but not management. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Didn't know that. Is it in the Freeman? I don't know what will happen. Uh, below the actually, radar it was, the, it was the soccer coach that uh, told me okay. about it. Okay. Um. And so then I did a little, you know, me, a little, a little investigating. Investigative, right, PD work, right. Yeah. He gave me a call and said, what's, you know. What's up? Gave me a WT. Yeah. Uh, what's going on up there? I know yeah. you, ha you you work out up there all the time. I said, oh, did you meet, uh, I won't even say his name, yeah. the homeless guy that actually does live in the bathroom. Right, right. Um, now there's more. Uh, don't know. Don't know what the deal is with that. I think that the Deet Stadium is a jewel for this community. It is. It is. Uh, it is. I know that the Bruderhof spent right. well a lot over $100,000. I think it was more than that. Well, well yeah, well over. Big, well big well over 100000 I heard it was a mill, but who knows? Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Well, I guess that's well over a hundred. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you know, math is not my thing. <laughs> zero here, zero there. Yeah. What the hell? Yeah, whatever. What's yeah. a zero amongst friends? One. It's one. a one. It's a yeah. one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, Deet Stadium, uh, a little head scratcher right there. Right? A little head well, scratcher. A uh, little head scratcher. All right. Yeah. Well, we'll give it some time, see what happens, see, uh, you know, if, if something can be uh, maintained. It's, it is a jewel. And uh, I thought they were doing something to take it to the next le level up, you know, I redo so the bathroom. Too. I thought that's what I read. Redo the bathrooms, you know, maybe because out of towners use it a lot when, you know, when we're not in the plague. We, uh, yep. you know, we, we have a lot of folks. The March, the uh, Eric Hotelling's uh, oh, the uh, March, March of Champions. Champions great, is a great, great. event. So a lot. Well, of I mean, I, I I guess there's no reason they games. can't still do that. They have to get a permit, mm -hmm. um, well, and and then hope that the people that are riding their bicycles across the astroturf, which I saw, <laughs> oh, great. Uh, uh, will get out of the way. Yeah. And uh, and allow that to be used. By the I'm way, sorry. I did see that. Uh, I'm not sure what you call it uh, down at the boulevard there, where where they have cars parking in the middle of the street. Green I have, kill. Yeah, green kill. That was uh, uh, that was very interesting. Uh, <laughs> it's and I could see the plows just a death <laughs> trap. Yeah, <laughs> on notice. The city's on notice. It's yeah. a death trap. Make sure your insurance is paid up uh, because I wouldn't park my car in the street there. I don't know. I mean, that's crazy. One of my uh, one of my favorite listeners used a term the other day about the roundabout, and I can't remember it. I hope that I hope that he's listening and will text to me. The, the what they call the roundabout. roundabout. It's a very creative name. Yeah. Any curse words in there? No curse word. No just curse a words. Funny creative okay. name. I'm okay. gonna. 
uh, circle of death is what you know <laughs> circle of death what comes to mind to me right but, right right, right. Um, yeah well i mean it's it's uh coming around i don't know when it's supposed to be done when's it supposed to be done do we know? uh 2072 yeah it's going to be yeah. done. in yeah. the year 2525 if man is still alive <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, nice all right <laughs> Right. Uh, you song talking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's okay. Let's see if we can get the name of that. We have had some more violence, uh, you know, throughout right. the city. Um, yeah. Same names. The names the, the names have remained the same, and right. the faces have changed because they've grown up, or they're their second generation or third generation. Yeah. Sad. Um, Very sad. It was in the paper. I'm, I'm going to use these names because it's public knowledge. It was in the paper, and I'm, I'm saddened. Yeah. By this, uh, George Mitchell the third went away to prison this week. Okay. His dad, George Mitchell the second, was you, you a probably friend arrested. Of mine. Oh, okay. oh yes, he's a um, he's in prison for the rest right. of his life. But he was a child when I met him. Yeah. And as I've said a thousand times, there's no such thing as bad children, only mm -hmm. bad adults. He's a victim, truly right. a victim of the system, and I'm sorry for that. He was a good. Uh, young man when I met him uh, he was a little boy yeah yeah yeah, yeah, little yeah boy I met him downtown and he we befriended each other down on yeah, the rond out that's cool he had a really crappy too bad he didn't uh, look up to you life. more and attach to you more uh, last time I saw him he was in shackles yeah. and chains and tried to hug me I saw him in court he was on his way to be sad uh, it is sad yeah. it is sad and I'm sorry for that I wish that we could do better for yeah for folks like him um, and his kids. Yep, agree, agree. Um, you know, uh, Val Dwyer's coming back in today yeah, eight to talk about the right. meeting we had with uh, the mayor and the chief of police. Right. right. Um, we have Joe Deegan coming in seven thirty, talking Joe about real estate. Deegan. Joe Deegan, yeah. mover shaker, rainmaker, uh, rainmaker, salt and pepper guy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know what that means. <laughs> I mean, yep. either it's a shaker. Well, you're drunk, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A little uh, bourbon in the coffee. Yeah, tonight. nice. Hey, yeah, that's light on that coffee. Right, 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 a little Irish right, right. whiskey in here. Woo um, and then eight thirty, we have the uh, one and only Lester uh, Alicio. Actually, is his first name, Les Lombardi. So the man, the man I met, the man, uh, the myth, the legend. Cardiac rehab uh, changed yeah. my life. Yeah, man, the myth, the legend. He's a great man. Uh, he's amazing. He's the. Uh, I would say what. There's this term I can't use because it's racially insensitive uh, or ethnically insensitive to Italian, so I won't use oh. it. Uh, top. And the other one is, I'll tell you off the air. Oh, all right. Uh, oh, I got it. Yeah, I, you took okay, me a second. Okay. I'm Irish. That's okay. So, I know, you're Irish. Okay. So, you right, know, right, I, right. it took me a minute. Right. I, I got, got you. you. I got you. You could say it, could. but, but no, somebody, somebody, somebody who's not Italian and isn't from here would complain. Might puncture my tires or something. Which is just... Yeah, like, right. Yeah. Some out-of-towner would Some out-of-towner who's not from here, doesn't know anyone, doesn't know anything. <laughs> right. Uh, and who isn't Italian would <laughs> right, complain right, right. and say, I'm offended. Yeah, that's a racially insensitive guy. We're totally, yeah, ethnically insensitive. Kingstonian's been on the front page a bunch of times. So, yeah, what's up with that it's, uh, it's so the IDA has come out and stalled, said oh yeah the, uh, the taxpayers are going to make money on this okay, for every uh, I think it's in it's it's in oh got it mm -hmm. the tragic circle <laughs> ah, the tragic circle <laughs> not the tragic circle baby the, tra the tragic <laughs> circle I love it I give you credit if That's I could buddy but you know it would be a yeah. bad thing yeah <laughs> Tragic Circle. The Love tragic it. Circle. Yeah. Nice. So if you get there, to, to, you know, your entrance to Kingston at the <laughs> Kingston tragic, tragic Circle. Tragic Circle. And uh, right. now we look like Yonkers. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it'll be beautiful when they're done. I'm sure the folks with those mansions across right. on, uh, on Albany Avenue are just yeah. thrilled. Are just thrilled. And the other that. beautiful one with all the balconies, the iron balconies. I don't yeah. know what is that. By the hour place? What is that place? No, is, uh, it, is it a, just a, a apartment complex? Apartment complex, yeah. Yeah, it's an apartment with the, complex. With the, uh, those yeah, they're all they face, they face right. across the street. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's going to be really pleasant to be there during the day, especially if you work at night. I bet if you work at night, you're just thrilled with that. Um, and, you know, it's fun to drive through. Oh, yeah. But uh, whatever. Listen, uh, I guess... I guess it was necessary to spend that money. Yeah. Uh, I thought that I mean, the I, interchange worked fine if you followed the rules. Yeah, I'm okay with it. I know people kind of freak when they go on the, the throughway thing, and I don't know how many accidents were on that thing, but I, I'm, I'm a fan of the roundabout. I'm, I'm okay with Are it. Are you? I am, yeah. I'm okay with it, uh, you know. Good for you. Like Good for you for the, saying the, so. The little wings here and there that okay. you go off on. All right, so what's going on with the Kingstonian? So according to the Ulster County Industrial Development Agency, this is a big, that's a yeah, big yeah, title, yeah, yeah. man. Uh, officials expect that there, that $3 will be returned to the local economy for every $1 yeah. provided in a tax 
uh, a pilot, pilot yeah. uh, to the Kingstonian developers. Of course, of course. So I don't know if you heard that right. I'll say it again. $3 yeah. will be returned to the local economy for every $1 provided to developers in tax breaks and grants. Yeah. This estimate was provided Wednesday in a cost-benefit analysis. Wow. I mean, that's independent okay. study, too, right? That's well, of course, they're all independent. Right. There's another. The county's wasting fifteen thousand dollars doing another, another study. One. Okay, great. Let's to confirm that. this study, which is confirming the study that they did and provided. Yeah, the department, um, of, department of redundancy. And yet, and yet, the folks from Rise Up Kingston, yeah, at the county legislator meeting, said that it was obscene. Yeah. that the county was considering granting these. Obscene, a tragedy. Obscene, Obscene was a word, tragedy. that's a quoted word. Right, jobs, uh, new, new jobs. Oh yeah, new jobs. Housing parking. additions, helping local businesses. That's obscene. They don't want that. It's obscene. No, we, you know, we, hate, we hate successful people. Right, right. That's <laughs> <laughs> what, what happened. <laughs> another, Very funny. Uh, another another <laughs> one of our listeners wrote in to say, uh, oh, well, we needed the tragic circle with all the industry and businesses moving to Kingston. Well, we drove away everybody that wanted to come and build here. They're <laughs> trying to drive away the Kingstonian. They drove away the brickyard or the um, yeah, yeah, Tom, uh, Pernis. Uh, Tom Pernis project. Yep. Uh, Hudson Landing. We drove Hudson Landing away. We drove the water company away. Yeah, what's up with that? Uh, what's up with that? I don't know. What's don't up know. with that? I think I mean, you look at 50 people who aren't from here and who don't pay taxes dictate to a ultra left-wing liberal leadership, uh, both at the city, county, and state level. And so no, no one right. group is, uh, is to blame, for sure. And they're dictating their political agenda, which is um, anarchy. They, they're, they're, yeah. They seek anarchy and socialism. And are trying to punish people for being su speaking of successful. Did Joe Deegan? Where would he go? He just poked his head. <laughs> He's a successful yeah. guy. Yeah, I think he heard your rant and then got back oh, in his car. Right. There he is. There he <laughs> is. There He's there. There. Oh, take your seat at the table, brother. <laughs> you don't wait in the green room. <laughs> you got, You're early, but wait, you can sit. You in. didn't get you anywhere. Yeah, you can sit in. Uh, you're, this is my time to rant, Joe. Yeah, oh, rant? but I'm yeah. ranting. But we have we have plastic I Jesus mean, pointing at Scott. Plastic Jesus by me too. Yeah, to it, keep so me. he gets some blessings. Try to keep Never me. knew Scott to, to rant. rant. Yeah, yeah, and it's a new it's a new phenomenon. We're not yeah, sure where it came yeah, from. Really? I, when know, did this, when did like this a, come over you? It's like a John Travolta <laughs> movie. <laughs> 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 Wait, the plastic bubble? What? Yeah, no, no, no. Phenomenon. Oh. Come on, when he got struck by lightning or something. Oh, that's right. And then he became super smart, right? Exactly. Yeah, it was a cool. No, that's never going to happen to me. Never going to be super smart. Got hit over the head. But with a frying pan. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> by my wife. By, by my your wife. wife. Yeah. Italian frying Telling pan. Telling me to shut up. Right. Just shut up. Will you just shut a up? A 10-pound frying pan. Yeah. Boom. Boom. All right. And then she now. made some <laughs> sausage with it. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a little sauce. In a onesie the other day. Nice. That was, wow. That, that, you don't wow. unsee that. Let wow. me tell you. You don't unsee that. Is that yeah. a skiing onesie? It was a bike riding onesie. Biking a bike onesie. Onesie. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. I got the look going on. Wow, that's yeah. good. The whole outfit, bro. Wow, okay. The whole clothes. Why? Wow. Why? Why did whoever came up <laughs> with specialized bicycle gear decide to make it look so awkward? And it was supposed to be sleek. It's supposed to be like wind resistant. Like you, like you they know, designed that wind, helmet. Wind. You ride, helmet. You ride a Harley. You wear a helmet that makes you look right. cool, right? right? You look cool. When you ride a Harley, that helmet looks cool. True. When you ride a bike, they have that look, thing with the slots in it, and it's yeah, that's. Oversized. <laughs> oh man, not you personally. Everybody that I see in that. Because some European did it. And that skin tight outfit to allow for perspiration. Yeah. <laughs> right. And a little escape okay. of, of heat out of your head. I, ri I ride a motorcycle as well. You do, and you look cool on your. Well, by yeah. the way, you look cool on your well, motorcycle. And, and you have a you skiing helmet up next to I you do have a skiing helmet. <laughs> this so is America. You must have a room just for helmets. Right? Well, actually, <laughs> I have a helmet just when I watch TV. Too. <laughs> And what, you don't know that? That's you like you get on Amazon that Prime. Yeah. TV helmet. Oh, yeah, you TV can. helmet. No, oh, you, you need one well, because you got to have one. This You're not is a, kidding. Well, this is America, right? This we is have, America. We have things for everything. We have, we have to be protected from ourselves. We you know, know, they know better. The, the vast left wing you know, knows better. You we're don't just, wear a helmet when stupid. you watch TV. You don't know what you can just happen. Do as you're told. <laughs> we're just stupid. Any, anything could happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Gee, uh, what happened to Tim? Uh, uh, he's watching uh, TV. He's watching TV yeah, without a helmet. helmet. Yeah. 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 What happened fell to off, Jeffrey Tubin? Fell off the couch. He was doing something without a helmet, wasn't he? Who that? Jeffrey Tubin, the uh, CNN uh, legal, uh, legal eagle. Uh, the, you got a little. Oh, yes. 
on the Zoom. You don't, you don't no, follow the news? I try not oh, to. Oh, Jeffrey not Tubin to. is one of President uh, Trump's biggest detractors. Oh. Just hates him. What happened? Got caught on a Zoom meeting. With, oh, with his pants down or something? Sort of? Oh, punishing himself. <laughs> yes. Very awkward. Very awkward. Oh, Lord, and, love uh, duck. So CNN I, made an announcement that he was know. going to take some time off for personal reasons. Now, that's when they send you to Anthony Weiner. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right. exactly. Yeah. That's what he does now. Yeah. Uh, oh, for a job? For a yeah. living. For a job? For a living. Uh, we're not he sure. Could, you know. <laughs> well, right, could be. Could that's be. That's bad. CNN's... <laughs> Listen, <laughs> he was a C- one of CNN's hands-on guys. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> All right. <laughs> They're sharp. We've They're crossed sharp. over. We have good listeners. We mentioned me Imus earlier. We mentioned Howard we Stern. We're going right down that rabbit right down hole. The, right down the toilet. Right the uh, St. Augustine Cartel is signed on. Okay, good. Good morning. Good morning, my friends. YouTubers. YouTubers. Yeah, YouTubers, you're on. Yep, the tubers. Uh, my guy, Chuck, uh, my great friend, fishing partner, guide, fishing professional is what he is. He's a guy teaching me how to fish down there. Okay. We're, uh, we're going into the charter business together. Wow. Uh, he's going to go down to Tampa, look at a boat for me. So he may I not know that till just now, but... Can I ask you one question about that? Can you ask me anything you want. Okay, so uh, a long time ago in a land far, far away, I went blue fishing with a bunch of doctors, uh, and uh, this is when I was at Kingston Hospital, and we went up to Point Judith, I want to say. Is that a place? Point Judith, Rhode Island? Yeah. It's where you catch the ferry to go over to correct. Rock Island? Correct, correct. So we were fishing place. for blues, right? We're fishing for blues. I have no idea what if... I, I, I'm not a fisherman, but it was cool. It was a cool trip. So the guy Jesus takes us out. Jesus was a fisherman, you know. I know Jesus was a fisherman. And so what happened was the the great boat captain uh, took us out to a place, looked at his sonar screen with a, a million blue dots on it, and said, drop your... Drop yeah, yeah, the fish are here. Right here. I was like, how hard is this? Oh. <laughs> Chuck, 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 did you hear that? <laughs> you hear how hard is that? Beam, how hard is Finding it? fish no. in the ocean. You're no. talking about my old stomping grounds here. Point you? Yeah. I yeah. worked okay. on that. Uh, I'm not talking. I, I tended bar on Block Island for two years. Oh, man, I love Block yeah. Island. I, I uh, love Block Island. a white golf shirt. I bet you know. <laughs> <a white laughs> you know. You got little eyes on thing oh, you got going. those, like, no, uh, yeah, rose-colored shorts. What, I, what do they call that color? I don't know what the hell it's called. Mauve. Mauve. That guy. That one. Yeah. It's... Salmon. <laughs> That's salmon. Good for you, buddy. <laughs> White shirt, salmon shorts. Salmon shorts. And the dock Dock siders. Yeah. Dock siders. Yeah. yeah. No, so, no. Uh, yeah. Wayfarers. Wayfarers. So let's get back to the captain. So, so here okay, he is. Sorry, yeah. yeah, no, sorry. So, you know, he says, okay, uh, I'm going to take you guys Drop out. Blah, 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 blah. Here's all, you know, there's like a school of fish there. Like a million, you know, like a university of, of fish. Boom. Drop them right there. I, boom. We're pulling them out. I'm like become arm weary. I'm saying, okay, no moss. I give up. I can't, you know. <laughs> No no <laughs> done for the day. And one of the doctors, uh, you know, sick, puking over. And he had the Dramamine patch on. He's a doctor. He still had the Dramamine patch on. He's not on. a very good doctor. but uh, Yeah, right. And, and he's looking like really almost like the blue fish. You know, he's looking really bad with the blanket over. He looked like a person that, you know, didn't have a home. But... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Lives in the bathroom at the yeah, stadium. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. But anyway, uh, so that was my fish story. I enjoyed it. Uh, so Did you maybe just tell the story to blaspheme the the captain. You, you think no, it's easy no. to go out there and find that's, 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 that's what I'm saying. Yeah, you think they're <laughs> everywhere. Let me tell you something. They're <laughs> not everywhere. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. You gotta find them, baby. Okay, that's they what move. I'm saying. I'm gonna come down to St. Augustine. You come down. I'm going to uh, come down. We're going to put you on. justifying I, the fee And now. then they're going to yeah. probably put Chuck's me in a, put you in on a dinghy, in, no. a dinghy no. in a dinghy yeah. in the back. We're going to take yeah. you out about 20 miles and, and say the ship's me. over. Get out. Cement shoes. <laughs> Cement yeah. shoes. Tony. Okay. Tony. Yeah. Big got pussy got went out in the boat, <laughs> but you didn't come <laughs> back. <laughs> That's a Sopranos reference. Yeah, yeah it is a Sopranos so, reference. Yeah, so anyway. No, I, I would like that because, uh, you know. Chuck put my son, Charlie, on a beautiful kingfish this winter when Charlie came down during during the, the COVID plague mm -hmm. to hide from New York City. We went out in my little blue dolphin too. Nice. And trolled, and Charlie caught the fish of his life. <laughs> nice. Loved Fought it for about probably 30 minutes, 20 minutes to bring it in. It was a big fish, and you caught fish wow. from with relatively small you have a hooks. a defibrillator on that boat, just yeah, in case? Yeah, just in case. I had to quit. <laughs> uh, he, we also hooked a... Uh, now, Chuck is going to laugh when I make this reference. Had to be 12 foot long. Yeah. <laughs> Hammerhead shark. Hammerhead shark. Red wow. Shark. Uh, re realistically, it was probably wow. 10 feet. Probably, yeah. Guns, baby. The guns. The guns. Boom, boom. You boom. can pull a hammerhead with that. You know what? That hammerhead pulled me. Yeah, I believe this it. This thing, yeah. we had to finally it chase the it. Boat. Yeah, it was pulling the boat. We had yeah. to finally chase it just to get it to the surface. Need, need a clear. bigger boat. Yeah. Right. yeah. Oh, <laughs> nicely done. Every now and then. I slip one in there. 
Hooper drives the boat, Chief. <laughs> Hooper drives the boat. Uh, Roy Scheider's yeah, best movie. Great. Yeah. Um, but Chuck was Call able to get it up to the surface so we could what see. What was the actual the measurement of the fish, do you think? I would say it was probably 10 feet. 10 feet. Probably 10 but feet. You, so you added 24 feet. foot boat. I say it was half the, the size of the boat. Okay. And when it was done with us, it shook its head and it's broke the wire line. It really looked like a hammer. And a half of it. really does look like a hammer. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Oh, they're very intimidating. Yeah. Just beautiful, though. The smooth yeah, 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 back yeah. and forth. And when it was done with you us. Is that a catch and release? That was a, that was a catch and run. <laughs> <laughs> I was terrified. That was back, back, Catch, back, catch, back, catch back. and cut the line. <laughs> See, <laughs> See, don't fall so, in the water. You don't know how to write. Your lunch. Your lunch, then. Lunch and a snack. So, so anyway, so charter fishing is a challenge. Just so yeah, you know. no, I I'm, I said that tongue in cheek for sure. I, did, I mean, it's I once in I think it was back in 1998. I'm on down. I promise you. I love that. I love that. I'm I'm absolutely. When all else there. fails, we go to a reef and drop a chunk yep. of squid on the bottom, and you're guaranteed. What's to the best way, uh, Stewart? Down to uh, where? Where are you in Saint A's? You're in Saint Augustine. The yeah. best the best way to do it is is Stewart to uh, Sanford. Sanford. Yeah. So or they used to have a great Albany. deal on that. So, so, yeah, yes, great deal. they still do. Albany to Jacksonville. Oh, interesting. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oldest city in America. Thank you. Joe has joined me there. Same Joe and I got thrown out of a bar there. We, Fountain of Youth it, was there, or well, is there. We didn't find there. it. We you didn't find it. You guys we, didn't, obviously didn't find we it. We found Jack's place <laughs> and a we're, tattoo guy that threw us out. Yeah, we were on a mission. And really? We, yeah, yeah. You're trying to get a tattoo? No, no, no. We thought it was a good idea after the better part of a bottle of Captain Morgan <laughs> that Scott should have a tattoo. <laughs> of, <laughs> of, <laughs> of, of the Captain Morgan. Of, 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 of Captain Morgan. Yeah. Nice. We, nice. Were on a, we were on a mission. We did not succeed. You did, it, thankfully. It, probably. We were, were thrown out of a tattoo well, parlor. we were. Wow. And you got, that's, you know, that's a new career high for me. Because you were <laughs> three sheets? You were three I was, sheets? I said to the guy. Four sheets. <laughs> How do you make a living with your own tattoo joke guy? <laughs> he did. Who else come out here? That is a direct I'm quote. I'm back when you're sober. <laughs> really? I mean, everybody really? gets a drunk tattoo. No, I know. Well, I, I don't ever buy it. That was not, not true. It was not his day, but we, 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 <laughs> we tried. We tried. We tried. He like gave it the old college try. <laughs> I think I think his wife was eternally grateful. She was. She thanked him. Who was with us? We had Scott Um, Sarensky. Oh, man. Was there another? No, there was a fourth. There was a fourth. Oh, yeah. Oh, Tracy? I don't know. I don't oh, think Tracy man. was with us on that trip. But there was a fourth. Serensky was. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was, it was you remember, if you're when you sober up, you might remember. Yeah. I, you know, yeah. it's possible. Yeah. We got so, thrown out so of Jack's place, too, for smoking cigars I know cigars we're going to come back bar. with Joe in a few minutes. But <laughs> So the Kingstonian is, Kingstonian is treading water. It's where is I mean, it? We don't know yet. What, what, how many studies should we do? I don't, is yeah. there a number of studies, studies Joe, before we actually do. accept a, 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 uh, a fantastic project well, that's beneficial to both the business the business community and uh, uh, the shoppers and the taxpayers. Well, my mark of my mark of the approval process is, you know, Dean Gitter's dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They that only him. took a dozen years. Took him twenty years, and it's not built years. yet. And he died, and it's not built. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. that's that's one measure. Yeah. I don't know how many studies in the in the middle, uh, but that's yeah. that's kind of where I go. No, that's so that I, is, I didn't know that. I can how, how many it, chamber breakfasts did Dean yeah. Gitter come to? Of like right. five? Yeah. I mean, it was like you know. Well, remember. The, Poor Tim Williams Lake project, <coughs> yeah, coming sure. like we, yeah. a, like a we decade ago. Right, going. I have to be in the ground this this year. I need it's your not, help, and I'm like chuckling sadly. Why doesn't anybody see a trend here? Why, right? if you're an elected official, why doesn't anybody see a trend? You know, no, th th I'm this, sorry. but by the way, th those <coughs> those who hammer our elected officials need to hammer the the right place. Yeah, it's called well, Albany. Yeah. It's the okay. continuing okay. criminal enterprise no, no, of New York State government. The New York State, down. the New York State Quality Review Act. Okay. Seeker. The Seeker Act. If, yeah. if it, I would love, I would challenge a Harvard or Columbia business <clears throat> class, and I'm very serious at this. If you want to track the demise of upstate New York, it is, in my opinion, directly tied to Andrew Cuomo. The passage <laughs> no, before of him. The passage of that bill in 1978. Oh, his father, Mario. Yep. It, it, no, I, think I, it I believe for him. I, I believe it is. Now, why do we uh, live and relatively thrive in Kingston, New York? Relatively. Yeah. Versus really? Poughkeepsie and Newburgh. Go we're, ahead. We're, well, we're, we're, no, no, no. In the well, land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. But go ahead. <laughs> we're, we're 90 miles north of New York City. 
I get it. And and we will continue to be. Listen, we if we were two hundred miles north of New York City, we'd be dead. Game over. Done. Game Game is, over. We yeah. could be better. We could be better. And and by the way, the we're obstacles. doing just fine. We are. We're doing we are. just fine. We are. But, but I, where I, could I, we be? I respectfully disagree, and I think we're we're not doing fine. Well, we could do a lot better. Right, we're we're going right, to pick up on that, Joe. We're going to go to a commercial. Come on, right back. Listening to Kingston Community Radio on WGHQ Kingston on your radio at 9:20 a.m. and 92.5 FM, and also online at mykcr.org. A hundred years ago, there were a hundred thousand tigers in the wild. Today, there are as few as 3,200. The Earth's wild animals can't speak up when they need help, but we can. Be the voice for those who have no voice. Visit worldwildlife.org. Central Hudson reminds you that summer thunderstorms can strike with strong, gusty winds, knocking down trees and power lines. If you see a downed power line, call 911 immediately to report it. Power lines can carry an electric current strong enough to cause injury or death. Stay at least 30 feet away from a fallen line. Don't try to move it or anything that has come in contact with it. And never drive over a power line. Remember, your safety matters. Hi, I'm Steve Thomas for Habitat for Humanity Restore. Habitat Restores are nonprofit home improvement stores and donation centers that sell new and gently used furniture, building materials, and appliances to the public at a fraction of the retail cost. The Ulster County Restore at 406 Route 28 in Kingston needs your donations. Call our hotline at 845-853-7499 to schedule your free pickup. And thanks. Long ago, you wouldn't think of galloping on a horse while doing calligraphy, and you wouldn't have attempted to ride your bike while typing a letter. Yet, you think you can safely operate a multi-ton vehicle while texting? Behind the wheel is no place to multitask. If you want to BRB, drive now and text later. Lives depend on it. Visit StopTextStopRex.org, a message brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, Project Yellow Light, Noise, and the Ad Council. Hi, I'm Ruth Quick I'm from Town of Ulster. I support Kingston Community Radio, and you should too. This portion of Kingston Community Radio is brought to you by Ulster Savings Bank. Visit their newest branch, conveniently located at the Ulster Commons Plaza in Lake Katrine. Experience the difference that local community banking offers with the convenience of another great location, easy access, plenty of parking, and a 24-hour ATM. Ulster Savings Bank, invested in community, invested in you. Member FDIC. How's the fam doing, all right? Okay, we're back on, folks. This is Thunder Thursday. I'm Scott Arrington. I'm Tony Marmo. Yeah. <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're joined by Joe Deegan from, uh, I don't know, SBN, you got a big one. Deegan. Collins. Se- Deegan Collins Real Estate. Did so I get that right? SVN Those Collins. initials don't exactly line up. Deegan but Collins Commercial Real Estate. Though. SVN Deegan Collins Commercial Real Estate. What does SVN stand SVN, for? SVN uh, is is a what what a great well. segue. You're just throwing me a softball here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I do, you. brother. It's yeah. what yeah. I do. You do. It's what SVN I do. SVN stands for <laughs> Sperry Van S. Uh, these are two partners uh, in California real estate in the late 80s, Rand Sperry uh, and uh, Mr. Van S. that merged. And they merged over the premise of our company, which I love. Which is? Really? Well, which is as follows. So here you are in a large <coughs> commercial real estate transaction, say several million dollars. Right. And you know, there are these, these ugly things called commissions right. that brokers earn. Right. Got to have it, buddy. Got to have it. It's kind of table. It's kind of what I do. Yeah. Uh, and what, what happens in my business on the higher end with uh, other national companies that shall remain unnamed is they often show up to the table with a buyer and they... they um, not uh, name one just for the hell no, of it. No, I'm not going to okay, name okay, one. Okay. Um, and, and they say, look, um, if you want this deal, this is, is our fee. Um, it, it is what it is. There's, there's no negotiation. Right. Um, we take the opposite Take it or leave it. Right. Well, because what happens is that ultimately comes out of the seller's pocket. Right, right, the Seller right, right. is asked to now compensate right, a right, greater right. amount than they should. Right. So the Which seller. What happens in residential, though, right? Doesn't that happen in residential? usually comes out of the seller's 
No, no, no. The seller, seller, the seller oh, always pays. Oh, yeah, almost oh, on the residential. It's very rare Never that the pays, that yeah. the buyer would, but the buyer yeah, I've been mean. involved in <coughs> transactions with right. the buyer. Sometimes but the buyers kick in some money. Right. What the, what, oh, right. right. Just throughout real, the negotiation. Real estate transactions take all. Or might somebody <coughs> give you five thousand towards closing fees flavors. or something like that. Yeah. But anyway, these two gentlemen worked on this transaction long and hard, and and what they recognized at the end of the day by not equitably splitting fees 50-50, the seller was penalized. Hmm. Okay, makes sense. It, it makes does. sense. So when you <coughs> deal with an SVN office, we're uh, 1,500 brokers, 200 offices across the U.S. Okay, so it's... You show up. I got this industrial building listed for sale. The fee is, to the outside gotcha. broker, 50%. Gotcha. Period, end of story, no negotiation. It's a fair and equitable way to transact real estate. So it's, it's real not estate. a franchise per se. It is a franchise. It is a franchise. Yeah, God, it is okay. absolutely a franchise. Okay. I really like it. I like to know that. I've known you for I a long like, time. I, known I, Tom I like Collins. Long and it's been it's been a growth <coughs> thing because it was right. You know, well, we have offices. In, other, we have offices. You've had, in you've had other partners before. Yeah, and yeah, 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 kind yeah, yeah. Of one from the business. Oh, Tom and, and I Tom, merged. Tom is a very successful. Yeah, he's a great uh, guy. I'm super. We merged five years ago, and 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 at the same time we combined forces, we really recognized. Thank goodness that, you know, hey, that the, if we merge Monday, Tuesday, it's really the same game. Right. Yeah, right. Still Tom We're and Joe. We're doing it together. Right. Yeah. So that's... Two local guys, two supporters we, of uh, lots of local causes. Yep. So that's when we stepped up to the national platform, which gave me some national reach, national expert, expertise. Mm -hmm. I can bring Resources. Na national yeah, yeah, resources yeah, yeah. for yeah, you, It's, right. it's yeah, really yeah. given us a, 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 lot of, a lot of firepower. Benefits, yeah, All right. That was the softball. You ready? I'm going to go, go ahead. fastball now. Now, now, now get your cup. Make sure your cup is on. Adjust, your adjust yourself. On. Adjust yourself. Cup. Uh, right, Tubin. <laughs> Tubin, the hands-on guy at CNN. <laughs> okay. Uh, he's taking a break yeah. for personal reasons. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, yeah. yeah. Personal. He was Tubin. Yeah. <laughs> oh, stop. On the Asopus. On the Asopus. Okay. <laughs> you are. <laughs> Listen, the guy is a pompous ass. <laughs> I'm so happy to see. Yeah. Not. Forgive me. Got Forgive to, me, God. Just come up the plastic and plastic Jesus in front of me. Right. Let me be a better person. <laughs> Never wish. I'm sorry, Jesus. I'm sorry, God. <laughs> Never wish ill on others. My right. wife taught me that, and I'm sorry I did that. I'm legitimate, truly. Right. I shouldn't. You're a work in progress, like I'm all, a work of in progress. Like all of us. I'm, I'm like all of us. I'm an imperfect being. Right. However, <laughs> I, comes I, I feel. <laughs> yeah, right here. <laughs> a knuckleball. Yeah, here it comes. Like karma's a bitch, right? Right. Sometimes you get what's coming to you. Yeah. That's what happens. Right. Sometimes you don't. Sometimes right. it shouldn't happen to people. Bad right. things happen to good people sometimes. Anyway, here's the, here's, here here's, comes the fastball. Here's the knuckleball. Joe Deegan, uh, arguably the leading expert on commercial real estate in the Hudson Valley. Okay. Okay. Tom Collins may table. disagree with that. A little, little, little lofty. Yeah, a little, 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 little lofty. A couple of pegs. Go up. ahead. Go ahead. The Kingstonian. Probably the biggest commercial real estate deal happening at this moment locally. Guaranteed. Yep, yeah, thank you. I was trying to be vague. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm reading two articles in the Freeman that appeared this morning about the county legislature's <clears throat> uh, public comment uh, section from last night's meeting. Um, give me your opinion. What do you think of the Kingstonian? Oh, please build it. No, Thank no, you. Oh no, 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 yeah. no! Like you're preaching to the choir here. I mean, I, I know that. No, but but that's, 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 that's a hardball. Hard Come on, this is a hardball. That's a hardball. No, 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 no. They can't it's see. Well, well, they can't see this, yeah. Get it going. Get it up. Stop. I, I, so, I, the, so the pilot is really the point of contention. So, speak to that in terms of what you think the value well, of the pilot is I, I versus think, what the I think cost of the pilot is. You know, and 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 I will say this at the at the risk of sounding. Uh, basic. I I continually run into people, and mind you, look, I live in this world, and, and right. you guys are informed citizens. The amount of people who don't understand what a pilot is is uh, is, is a lot. To it's me. the guy flying the plane. Yeah, <laughs> right. Exactly. So, right. so so for the for the record books, uh, if I had a million dollar piece of real estate that was generating a hundred thousand dollars in real property and school taxes. And I apply for a pilot because I want to buy a building, and I'm going to do four million dollars in renovations. So I'm now, and I'm being very, very high level here. Yeah, my my risk is the assessor shows up the day I'm done and says, "Gee, thank you very much for improving that building to the tune of four million. Your assessment goes from one million to five million." Uh, I'm well, not, yeah, yeah, I'm not ready for that plan. Right. 
So wow. I've just invested four million dollars. Right. So all a pilot does, a pilot does not disturb the tax rateables on the one million dollars the okay. municipality That's important and the school to know. district are getting. Yeah. That stays as is. The school district and the city are going to get and the county more money. Yes. Well I'm speaking the pilot. with I'm, the pilot. I'm speaking to a general pilot here. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Trying yeah. to educate the audience. Right, right. Go ahead. Right? Yep. You're preaching so, to this choir. A yeah. pilot simply says on that additional four million dollars of value, okay, we're gonna have a payment in lieu of tax agreement at right. some negotiated level for the increased assessed value right. of this. Four million in your example. Going forward. Right. And so many people here pilot welfare for the developer. Right. Not true. Right. This is a gift. You, you are a gift. getting you are getting no less than the money you were getting, Mr. Municipality right. and School District. You are now going to get a percentage more that is arguably yes, not the full assessed value. Right. That's what real estate right. developers need. So I, but I'm, I'm amazed. So I shouldn't say simple. amazed. There's a lot of m people really, really do not understand that definition. There's but I think the people that were ag are, are against it are grabbing the pilot and spinning it a different way. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right? Well, they don't understand right, it. The numbers. They're lying about it, right. frankly, because right. we saw, you and I saw the numbers, right? We right. saw the hard numbers. The city of Kingston uh, Consolidated School District, the city of Kingston and Ulster County will receive more money with the pilot in tax over revenue over the life right? then they are receiving now if right. it was an unimproved lot uh they which, will receive more which if it doesn't get built it will remain it will remain an unimproved lot right uh, uh the parking garage no one's coming to build a parking garage no if it was profitable the city would have built it right the county would have built it it's a loser loser financially and these guys are willing to make it a and part I feel of the project. Sorry for the businesses, you know, Karen Clark Gaydens and the John Perrys <clears throat> and the folks that are trying to the Guidos trying to make a, a run, the Burnses trying to make a run at that area and draw in people. Uh, you know, Dallas I, I, Hot Wiener, longtime so families. These are, yeah. How many people drive by? Okay, I can't park. I'm leaving. Can't park. See you later. Yeah. Because if you can't park, you're not staying. Right. And you're leaving. And then let me go out to the mall. There, we're nobody in well, us either. Still, yeah, there's, there's nobody there. there. The mall is gone. Yeah, the mall was a pipe dream. Ghost it was a, a puff of smoke. It, it was here, and then it was gone. I was here. Now it's a, a so. walkway. I don't know. So what happens? I think is people wind up uh, voting with their feet. They go to Dutchess County. They go to or Albany Augustine. County. They go to St. Augustine. No, I'm saying to shop even. Forget moving right now. I mean, I you know, I'll say we we do probably half our shopping outside of Ulster County now because. You know, a, 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 you know, not a big Amazon fan. We do it when we have to, God forbid. But, but you know, yeah, go down, go to Dutchess County, hop, skip, jump. Why? Got to park. By the way, got to park. park. If you want to shop or eat, you have to leave your car somewhere. Right. Parking in the middle of the street like so many of our new Brooklynites Right. seem to or think is acceptable in uptown kingston <laughs> how's uber uh, doing uh, in kingston uh, is uber doing all right I, mean, I have no idea have we taxed them out of existence like by the way there's, but there's also uh and i'm i'm gonna be once again uber is terrible there's uber is terrible lawrence oh, why why lawrence lawrence? Weighing in. i don't know I, I take uber all the time and i can't find a car anywhere i mean that's ridiculous yeah, all my these cousin was just down over the weekend he had to wait 45 minutes all these for a new york city what? folks up here why there's i can't no cars in the area there used to be nine ten people and lyft are they around the is lyft, app, it'll lyft show you how many cars are in your area right you can spread the map out it'll show you yeah, that there's just that half a dozen drivers, anyway. and there's a million people looking maybe for... They're probably not making any money. Yeah, well... And you know what? Uh, 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 look at, at Broadway. <clears throat> uh, I know that we're trying to improve that. I'm not sure what the point was. Uh, I, I, did they put new water lines in? Is that why? Gas. New gas line. Gas. New gas lines, all right. And, and then we got yeah. this the new side. has to get new brick. gas lines. Right. But uh, parking we, there, we, we need deforested. to park. Defo oh, yeah, we, we're tree haters. <laughs> tree haters in Kingston. Kingston administration clearly hates trees. Uh, they've uh, systematically taken down every beautiful uh, tree that they could find. Um, but you have, uh, and we mentioned Dallas once already, uh, because there are several Dallases. you got one on Broadway. People have to park their car to go in and get their food. Um, if you can't, you drive by uptown North Front Street. You got to park your car to go, and you can't park it seven streets away. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, you're just not going to do that to <coughs> go grab a to-go lunch. Because yeah. by the way, you're a tax-paying worker. That's you know. <laughs> so, <laughs> listen, if you don't work and you got all day, you can walk. Theme, in Dallas. I know, I know. It's a theme. So, so, so taxpayer, 
mean, which means you're working, you have 30 minutes. You got to park. These guys are offering 277 he, parking. We space. have to uh, administer the Thorazine shot at some point during the show. Uh, but my but, my but so, is that what it is? <laughs> <laughs> no, so I have an advocate for the people, John. He is, he is. I, um, I want to shift a little bit and talk about real estate values, commercial <laughs> values in terms talk, of talk to the me, numbers. Talk to me. So it, it appears that things have just taken a, a step up, uh, you know, a level up in terms of, or, or is that not true? <clears throat> you know, well, is, it, is it something that's not true? if you have a question for Joe. 331925. Yeah. yeah, thanks, Scott. Um, um, the answer is real estate is, is uh, almost always grouped as quote real estate right the residential market yeah yeah we're, we're cool we're, you know crank it that was it you you mentioned that, i know you yeah. <clears throat> what else can you say uh stock market you increase what we can say is call or go ahead you're on the air with joe deegan good morning hey big george G&L. what's going on oh, it's our favorite man it's our, fav- our biggest fan george post from uh <clears throat> the great town of uh uh let's see not a soap park yeah that's that's where i live for god's sakes how can i forget that i'm drunk again scott no, he's drunk tony he's been drunk every <laughs> thursday hey, uh, you see by I the like stains the on his shirt an <laughs> reference earlier this morning what say it again george sorry we I, talked over i like your reference to zegas and evans in zegas and evans in the year 25 25 yeah oh, okay. yeah <laughs> and, what's uh, happening george hey i tell you what so outside of, outside of Kingston, the uh, Kingstonian is a no-brainer. Yeah. Because I tell you what, it would add parking uptown where you really, really need it. It would bring <clears> people <throat> uptown. It would bring in sales tax revenues from when they buy stuff up, uptown. Yeah. Jobs. It would help the businesses and everything out. More jobs, you know, too. But, right, so. exactly. And we need to get rid of these outsiders that's trying to ruin Kingston. <clears throat> yeah. It's... And, um, uh, it's it, totally ridiculous. Like, uh, they already got the thing where now if you get a felony charge on you with a gun, you just go home with no bail. Yeah. That, that was, but that I was what, embarrassing, was wasn't it, George? Think what he's doing up there, if he can think at all. Well, that's I, I want people to know what he's talking about. The, the shooting suspect that was arrested two weeks ago, arrested right, for shooting somebody, was released with no bail that evening. When he, when he got in front of the judge. That's embarrassing. That's anarchy. That's the end of civilized society. That's a, that's a state, uh, I go back to what Joe was saying, that's a, uh, a state capital issue. That's an Albany issue. Right. Right. Somebody, we've asked somebody, our we've, local leaders to stand up to Albany. Yeah. We've asked the chief of police, the Concern Kingston has asked the chief of police and the mayor to stand up to Albany say, this and is Dave Clegg crazy. and say, this is not working and we're not going to do it anymore. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, right, and, I, and that's where the elections come in, uh, where mm. local is really important to get some people up there to have common sense and have a little bit of logic. If you're a politician, you're not uh, given a lot of credit for having too much logic anyway. <laughs> but, uh, hey, that's why this election is important. And also the big issues could be law enforcement on the election. You yep. have to take a good look because this is going to be problems. But with this gentleman here, hey, that Kingstonian is a no-brainer. Yep. And it's something that should be done. And hey, even a uh, school taxpayer for the city of Kingston School, hey, I got no problems with it. It's a no-brainer. Uh, it'll help the area, help the community, and in the long run, probably lower our taxes as well. Thank you. So have a great day, you guys. Thank, Thank you, George. George. Thanks Thanks for always your a pleasure to hear from you. Thanks for your support, man. Look we what I pulled it. up on my phone, Tony. What is it, man? I get, regular, I get regular emails from SVN. <laughs> Uh, so do I. Uh, yeah. What's it uh, say? Deegan Collins, and it's a historic brick warehouse building oh, yeah, in yeah, downtown yeah. Kingston for How about sale. that? Who knew? 290 to 322 East Strand. Talk about that, Joe. Oh, it's an... I mean, I, I, I shouldn't interrupt. What is the what building? What, 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 that's the... Uh, BP, find BP, that interesting. BP, uh, what's the building? No, it's the former uh, Millen's... Um, oh, fill, okay. Millen's um, building? Yep. Right on the water. Uh, it is not actually. It's stepped in from the water. Central it's Hudson. Central Hudson got right away. The railroad in front of it and Central Hudson in front of that. Uh, you can see the water. Strand. You can see the water. Water views. Water views. Water views. Yeah. That seems like um, a good price. Well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> buy it. <laughs> Scott, everything is Every, good. Price. Everything is good price. No, the uh, this is a Something you you like ha- a you happen to pull up a very unique listing of S V and Deegan Collins Commercial Realty. This is uh, this is why I love what I do. Every day is a challenge. Every day is different. Every building's different. Mm-hmm. Every seller's different. Every thing is this is brick this is steel this is wood this building has the unbelievable benefit of coming with 
a DEC easement in perpetuity. Wow. That Which means, means wow. for those of you forever. who are like that's me, gold, uh, man. that's forever. Yeah. forever. <laughs> so, so what does this mean? This particular site was a former junkyard. Uh, you know, say junkyard. We say oh, a pardon. reclamation. It was a reclamation. <laughs> you know, right, right. Kind of like on. used car pre-owned. certified right. pre-owned. Right. Yeah, I pre-owned, mean, shame on me. Slightly used. Jeez, what am I Slightly thinking? What am clothes. I thinking? Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so um, <laughs> the property has been brought up to snuff, so to speak, um, at, a, at a DEC. We just got this thing done. It took, oh, I don't know, a decade. <laughs> uh, no, it did. It did. Uh, and, yeah. and so that we can now sell it. And what that means is it's just, the buyer's not, this is, well, no, right. it is, it is clean. You cannot do residential housing on the property. Um, it is only for commercial well, redevelopment. It's not zoned residential to begin it, with. It isn't. It would be an oh, unlikely so you make place. Condos or something uh, well, well, yeah, it's yeah. not zoned residential, so you wouldn't. Right. Yeah, but the DEC has the idea. right to come in there and do monitoring wells and do things. Stuff so that they need to so do. it's a unique so the buyer. remediation is done. Correct. The remediation on the you site. Are you is on done. my sales team here or what? Yeah. I do my best, bro. <laughs> I'm, I'm yeah. on the team. Actually, believe it or not, we've um, we we may have sold that building. Okay. Uh, fingers crossed. I hope yeah. so. It's yeah, a it's crossed. a great spot. It's a cool uh, piece of real estate. Barney Millens was a, a wonderful man. Barney was a great guy. A wonderful man, a local guy who was quiet. You would never know. What a successful you know uh, human uh, being he I will, was. I will tell you my quick Barney story. You go right ahead. It is worth telling. So if you've had the pleasure, and I think both of you have had the pleasure of having mm-hmm. boys, and my son was in the Boy Scouts, and we used to go around selling candy bars, and it was always amazing to me who would kind of draw the drapes or pretend they weren't home, which was fine. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, you don't want to buy a candy bar. That, that's fine. It's your business. No, no, no problem. <coughs> so uh, we knock on Barney Millen's door. And I, I, I didn't know he lived there. He lived two blocks away from me. I'm like, oh, my God, Barney Millens lives here. How about that? Nice. So he kind of stops, looks at us, says, uh, how much are they? They're a dollar a piece. Says, I'll be right back. And I'm like, mm, okay, it's a good sign. Comes back, $10 bill. But 10 candy bars. Nice. That's kind of a good I've guy. never forgot that. Nice, no, nice. Forgot Those that. small gestures, you know what? gestures well, for your children. 10 years later, I'm telling a story. Yeah, that, that, you know, that, other that, people right. are like, yeah, we're not home. <laughs> Here's 10 bucks. <laughs> yeah. Really? A dollar for a candy bar? Yeah, you know what? You don't want to spend Back a buck. That's day. fine. I, yeah. I, people do what they do. That's, that's fine. But He's a good, my, decent my, man. He ran a great business. Uh, he was philanthropic in the area, as is yeah. as his, yeah. his wife, Joan, who's a wonderful woman. Joan's awesome. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm glad that, that you got that listing, and I'm glad that you think it's sold. I would love to see that stretch yeah, of, developed, of, right? of Beale Street. Well, we uh, just uh, sold. Yeah. This is the fifth piece we've sold for uh, the Millen's uh, not, mm-hmm. not state. Family. 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 Thank you. Uh, we just closed on the piece at the end of the Head of Strand, uh, 5.2-acre piece, uh, two marginal buildings um but we just closed on that in july we've sold three others so this is the last these are out of town folks buying this guy was from long island i sold another piece to a local developer another guy to a local business i the city of kingston bought the piece which they should have okay next to the treatment plant that was a very smart purchase they made yeah and this is the last so we're 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 on our way out the building that was on uh the old pizza hut on ulster avenue i thought that was a great deal i mean i don't library went in there right i don't know is it no 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 but but no no we have no this is just recent within the last month or two we have listed for sale oh Oh, still listed the library went that's a deal man ponderosa how could i forget the ponderosa Ponderosa. Ponderosa. oh Oh, i had a lot that was your go-to meals there (laughs) (laughs) you got your orange tray and you went along the cafeteria line you got your your meat your piece of horse meat there yeah oh yeah <laughs> the special on trigger today. I hope my buddy Blaine, who is a cattle rancher, is laughing <laughs> his uh, his tail off right now. No, so that's a that's a really. I thought it was a really good deal. I mean, I I, I could be wrong about you the. No, you could move your personnel office there. I was thinking about that. Well, Eight thousand square feet. Italians, yeah. you could make pizza too. We could, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Tony's pizza Tony's and staff. Pizza, pizza and staff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> staff guy, you want a piece you of want pie? A slice. You want a pie? Yeah. Yeah. No, you want a slice? Yeah. 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 yeah we've had good activity on it. Uh, no real offers yet. Interesting. But is it, it's it's got to be a restaurant or not. Uh, I mean, no, the zoning. No, it's. I forget the zoning office. It's gonna be a house. Nobody built the house. Staffing there. office. Yeah. Yeah, staffing office. Yeah. Yeah. But it looks like a pizza hut. It does. Yeah. So I'd like to make pizza there. I think we should keep <laughs> making pizza there. That was a go-to. So you have to gut it. A little, little story about Pizza Hut. Uh, a, a lesson from my youth. 
or Ute, as Your they Utes. would say on Two when Utes. I was a Ute. Do Utes? Yeah, at the age, the tender age of sixteen, oh, myself. This can't be good. It's not. It wasn't good. It was, was a it valuable good? lesson learned. Okay. And I'm going to credit uh, our listeners will remember the wonderful Jody McTague. Oh yeah, who, yeah, yeah. who was oh, yeah. on radio for, for years, decades. Years, Matriarch Radio Major got me involved HQ in radio. Or GH, both. both. She was on both. 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 Right. Uh, her sons were, were good friends of mine, along with one more guy, who's they're all local, so I right. won't mention. The, so we decided that we were going to go to the Pizza Hut and we were going to dine and dash. <laughs> we're, dine we don't have dash. any money, right? We have right. no money. Dine and we dash. Just enough gas to get there and get back. And, right. and so, it was probably my car. Uh, so it was, we'd go in, we have our pizza, and one at a time we go to the bathroom, run out, get the car, <laughs> we take off, right? Back, back to Marble Town. You say they never find you in Marble we got, Town. Right, right, right. We, we, we made it. We're good. We've got the radio blasting. Yeah, we're, we're, right, we're right. doing our feeling thing. good. We pull up to the McTague's house and get out. Here's a uh, cop. Jody McTague. Oh, no. Uh, worse Jody. than that. Worse. Jody. Jody's like Jody. nun from the blue. Oh, front. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like this. <laughs> yeah. Right. You boys will be yeah. back in that car. <laughs> and, and you'll you drive yourself back to that pizza hut. <laughs> and you'll pay your damn bill. <laughs> <laughs> you pay your damn bill and you do that again and you'll be sorry. <laughs> That's a great How, how uh, did she know? It's a great story. <laughs> and back we went, tails between our legs. <laughs> how how did she know? Well, the police had been there. Uh, <laughs> and she said, I'll take care of it. Yeah, you'll have right. no problem with the officer. You'll have and they knew who you were. Oh. What more? What more? <laughs> Bobby ordered beer and like dumb, dumber, beer. dumbest, and uh, really dumb. Four morons is oh what my we were. God. Four morons. Oh, that's yeah. hilarious. They probably got the license plate or something. Yeah. And the car sat out there for ten minutes <laughs> while we, you know, while we swiftly went to the John. Swiftly, and then, yeah, swiftly, uh, one at a time. Oh my. Anyway, there's my pizza. Hot that stuff. that is a great story. Great story. Joe, so well, I can't believe it's almost eight. Joe Deegan, uh, SVN Deegan Collins, commercial real estate. If you've got a building. In the Hudson Valley, or really anywhere. Yeah, my, uh, my biggest client's actually in Syracuse. Wow. I do uh, a lot of work up cool. there. We do cover the United States in, like I said, 200 offices, 1,500 brokers. And you guys are local guys, which, which I like. You know the community, you grew up in the right. community, your family in the community. <coughs> all we real estate. talked about that many times. All real estate's local, baby. Yeah. Is the building <laughs> where uh, Duo was, is that building for sale? Or no. just the. No, the, we the actually. Business? The, but the, this deserves a quick, quick yeah. little bit. I got, yeah, another, I got yeah, two go minutes. Um, you know, I wrote, I wrote the year off in March. I, I was, right. I was like, the pan, it's, yeah, it's, the play it's, it's game over. I was right. really like looking for an oxygen mask right. or a job at Norman Staffing. Well, there was that. <laughs> there, there was that. Yeah, at the new Pizza Hut location. Right. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, 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 my so, job <laughs> or job pie. So. Um, the duo is a COVID casualty. Right. They they hang out. Right. They hang it up. They were a great restaurant. Yeah, they, they were. were. The owner calls actually Tom in our office. Tom lists the thing. Uh, one day later, we have a full price. Uh, it's offer. you know for lease uh, offer on the building from a COVID casualty yeah. restaurateur from Manhattan. Oh jeez. Yeah. The grass is always greener, right? Yeah. yeah. This guy comes up here. He's yeah. like, you know what? Um, I can make I'm, this happen. I'm in. Right. I'm in. So, so I by April I was reevaluating my write off the year in March plan. Good. Mm -hmm. um, Good. Glad to hear. Uh, and is and the restaurant going in there? Yeah, there's another restaurant Good. going in. Uh, um, open soon. Oh, cool. Uh, I don't know the details. Okay. But yeah, you'll come back and announce yeah, them when back. you get them. Because I want to hear them. Is it a Pizza Hut? It's not a Pizza Hut. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a Papa John's. Okay. Ah! It's a joke. It's a joke, everybody. Yeah, it's it's a joke. There's no Papa John's going up down. That guy got in trouble, too, didn't he? Papa John's for doing something. I think he got in trouble. Not Tubin. <laughs> oh, man. Jeffrey's Tubin. Joe Deegan, thank you for everything no. you do in the community. Cause we, and we didn't talk about that. He's, He's super involved. Benedictine Hospital guy, Foundation. Yes. Helps a zillion organizations. Not does as involved as the two of you. But By the way, know. he's also a really good guy. For oh, folks that you. don't know him, he's fan. a good guy. Been a friend of mine and for his, decades. And his better half. And his uh, family, yes. Uh, Patty and I went to high school together. 
We've known each other since we were little kids. And your chillins. Where, where, what's up with John and what's up John with John? John is uh, gainfully employed from yeah. mid pandemic. Amazing. Got a job in Boston. Very nice. proud of him. Good for him. Olivia, Turn into a Red Sox fan. daughter, has uh, figured out she could take remote classes from anywhere from Virginia Tech. So okay. that happens to currently Beautiful. be in Cape Cod. Okay. Mm. Okay. <laughs> How's that happen? That's pretty yeah. smart. Yeah, pretty right. smart. <laughs> Right. And our youngest daughter is home doing hybrid virtual work. Um, nice. So Beautiful. Yeah, we're all good. Joe Deegan, thank right. you so thank much you for guys. coming in. Come on back man. for the next yeah, hour. You, you, we'll, uh, we'll have you back. You're listening to Kingston Community Radio on WGHQ Kingston. On your radio at 920 a.m. and 92.5 FM. And also online at mykcr.org. At St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, we're fighting against childhood cancer every day. At the heart of this battle are our donors. Most of us want to make some type of difference in the lives of others. St. Jude does miraculous work. The fact that no one has to pay, it's a place where everyone is treated as an equal. Everybody is welcome here. And it doesn't matter your religion or what part of the world you're from. All that is taken away. It just gives you some hope. It's just a nice feeling to put your energy into something that really does genuinely make a difference in a child's life. There's just no greater gift. If we have the ability to help, then we have a responsibility to help. Finding cures, saving children. St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Find out how you can help at stjude.org. Central Hudson reminds you, when you're doing yard work, safety matters. If you use a ladder, be aware of overhead electric lines, including the service wire that runs to your house. Even wooden ladders can conduct electricity with dangerous results. And be very careful if there are electric lines above or near a swimming pool, and you're working with skimmers, brooms, or other long-handled tools. Central Hudson wishes you a safe summer. Introducing the YMCA. Sure, you know the Y for a swim or a game of hoops, but we're more than that. We're a cause. When you take a jump shot at the Y, someone else is getting job training. Practice yoga as a team practices her leadership skills. We give people of all ages, incomes, and backgrounds a chance to learn, grow, and thrive. So while you might think of the Y as the place for lifting weights, we're also about lifting entire communities. That's the why. We're so much more. Visit ymca.net slash more. Think fast. In the short time it takes to listen to this message, a small flame can turn into a big fire. Several minutes more, and thick, poisonous smoke may have filled your lungs and reduced your ability to respond. Give it five, and your entire home may be filled with flames. Keep breathing. We've got you. Don't let your world go up in smoke. Have working smoke alarms and practice an escape plan for you and your loved ones. Learn more at usfa.fema.gov because fire is everyone's fight. Have you ever experienced a wish come true? For a child battling a critical illness, a wish come true can be a turning point. One song, one dance, one game, one adventure, one moment changes everything. Make-A-Wish needs your support to grant the wish of every eligible child. Visit wish.org now to help grant more life-changing wishes. Together, we can transform lives one wish at a time. Hi, this is Winnie from the Rosendale Seniors, and I support Kingston Community Radio, and so should you. This programming is brought to you by the Friends of Kevin Cahill. As a strong advocate of local broadcasting, Assemblymember Cahill urges you to support Kingston Community Radio with your time and donations. Your contributions keep KCR vital and on the air at FM 92.5, AM 920, and on the web at mykcr.org. Please join Assemblymember Cahill and send your gifts of $10, $25, or more to Kingston Community Radio, Post Office Box 4364, Kingston, New York, 12402. Together, let's keep We're on. All right, we're back, folks. Uh, Flash! Ba-ba-ba-boom! All right. We're getting right to it this morning because we we have great guests for this half hour. You want to introduce, and then we'll do birthday. 
Uh, Val- Valerie Dwyer, CEO of our construction, uh, head of Concerned Kingston, uh, an ad hoc uh, informal group of concerned residents, taxpayers, and users of the city of Kingston who are not satisfied with the direction the city's taking. Is that and fair? And you're going through Pat That's Ford? Fair. I, well, I will in a second. Okay. I was, I was, was like done a, introducing that. Like that was three-minute I- uh, intro. Uh, no, uh, keep going. Uh, well, and Pat Ford, a member of that group, a Kingston resident, a Kingston businessman, uh, no, no, no agenda. That's you right. know, guy just shows up. Be busy. We're both busy as hell. Yes. Running help, businesses, wants to help. Yep. just wants to make Kingston a better place. So thank you. All right, we're gonna. I'm gonna give, do our birthday. Uh, you can get to announce it. Uh, and so uh, today is a really, a really big milestone day. Please wish a happy 80th birthday to oh, John wow. Evans of Rifton. Mm-hmm. On the same day. A happy 60th wedding anniversary. So how cool is oh, that? Good for you. 60 That's and 80. Wonderful. 60 Congratulations. And 80. John and his wife, Carol. Uh, so John and Carol Evans uh, are great volunteer leaders. 60 years. 60 years of, of wedded bliss. Hosting many fundraising events uh, for the Plutarch Methodist Church, especially the ice cream socials. God bless them. Right? God bless them. Um, so we wish John uh, and both John and Carol many, many more happy years, virtual hugs, and these... Um, Folks, Cami Fisher and George Fisher are in the Ulster County Italian American Foundation. From the, uh, from the Fisher Italians? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Cami is Italiano. George is well, a, oh, a want to be Italian. And you know, we're going to give them close. for their anniversary and are we? Uh, uh, John's birthday. <laughs> uh, we're all famous. All right. Well, this is Dairy Milk House Cow Pie. You, sir. Oh, that thing sucks. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we got to do this like we did it in the uh, altar board days. Boo. 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 Cow Pie, Boises Dairy Milk House, and Kicks Community Radio, and thank you, Boises, for sponsoring our birthdays. And thanks okay. and hi to George and uh, Cami Fisher, great yes. people. All right, let's get to business. So we had a meeting. We had a meeting uh, last week uh, at City Hall, the Concern, Concern Kingston group. We went in, there were six, six or seven of us. Yes. And uh, talk about that, please. So, uh, the yes. Good, the bad, the ugly. Yes, the good, the bad, and the ugly. So we went in last week. Uh, we met with the mayor and the chief and there chief were of police in chief of police in Kingston <coughs> and there were about six of us yeah six of six us, of us yep. yeah that uh, represented uh, city of Kingston residents and so we kind of each started and, and went around and talked about why this issue is important to us uh, Pat and I actually are next door neighbors and a lot of our concerns are the same uh, honestly a lot of everybody's, everybody's concerns, concerns were the same, same. Yeah. safety safety mm-hmm. safety, yeah. safety. Yep. supporting uh, law enforcement or law and order supporting law and order supporting SROs in our schools yes yep. correct uh, one of the uh, one of the people that that uh, was present and actually was going to come on this morning is Eddie Parker mm-hmm. and although he is not um, doesn't live in the city he's, a pork he's, he's chewing guy he's a he's, pork chewing guy. yes he's very well known very and well known very active in the city of kingston right. yes. active yes. in the boys and girls club and many other star athletes star uh, kingston yeah. pride pride joy kingston high school yeah he'll be armstrong better yeah <laughs> <laughs> wow wow why do i know that yeah i don't know fish school boy oh uh, fish yeah. boy hobie's kingston guy but eddie's son was about two car lengths away from being hit by a stray bullet right. a couple of weeks ago. So it just kind of Witnessed puts, it. yes, and he was Jeez. very scared. Uh, he's he a young boy, dad. and yeah. uh, he went to his dad, and it just kind of puts a, a face like to, to this. 13, 14-ish? No, 16, 17, it's, yeah, 16, I want to say, yeah, late, Carlton? late teens. No. Uh, Carrington. 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 Yeah. yeah, he's in yeah. college now. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Okay, yep. yeah, yeah. Uh, great kid, great family. Great family. So, so Eddie was there also as concerned, uh, even though you know he's not. And again, this is this is a perfect example of this is a community issue. Right. Even if you aren't a resident, I've heard right. from a lot of. We drive through Kingston every day. Our do. children attend right. things every day in Kingston. Yep. We attend things. And by the way, this happened after Eddie became involved in the group. Correct. Eddie Correct. joined on Correct. because it's the right thing to do. Correct. And this happened after that, which uh, just brought it home for him. Yeah. Right. And I think that's a perfect example, too, like I said, of, of, of it re- being a community issue. And I know that one of the things we've also talked about, one of the things I've heard from people over time, is you have to remember there's also a hospital right there mm-hmm. in, in Midtown. And uh, people leaving at, late at night, and a lot of them don't necessarily live in the city. 
And so, you know, they've reached out a lot and, and have been involved in, in signing because, mm. you know, they're they're leaving, you know, it, it could be dark. They and they work there. They may have family there. there they may have yep. business there. Yep. Yeah. Um, so and, and, and they feel and, uncomfortable walking to their cars. And sadly, the last two shootings happened in the middle of the, the day. day. Yes. Now that's when you know things are bad. Right. We had a lot of feedback from individuals that came to the pop-up events that were <coughs> residents of that that area of town, and they had the same feedback that they felt unsafe. They weren't doing things that they normally had done. And in what the were past. the answers given? I'm just curious. What 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 was kind of feedback that you get? So so uh, you know one of the things in, in our meeting with the mayor. Um, I, you know, that was one of my questions. I would really like him to um, to reach out to these people mm -hmm. because there are people in our crime community. Victims. These are yes, crime victims. Yes, there are people living in our community. I know I mentioned last time I was on here. There's a woman uh, who who lives on East James Street. lived there 22 years. And she can no longer let her grandchildren sleep over because she, the the house next door has been shot at four times. Um, and and she can't and, sell it either, by the way. And she <laughs> can't buy bullet she holes. Can't bullet sell holes. it. And and also yeah. another gentleman who has bullet holes. And so, um, you know, there were some good things that came out of the meeting with the mayor. Um, you know, I know that he is in support of the police budget. He said that that the police department had put forward. Um, and so the whole issue of defunding police, the mayor he, came out and said, the, hey, we're, yes. we're not That's in favor of that. Table. That's, That's off, the, off table. the table. He is not right. for defund the police. So that was great. Um, you know, I, I would really like him. And, and I did make that message, I think, pretty clear. Uh, you know, he does. He is in charge of the community. He, he is the leader of the community and he sets the tone. And I, I would really like to see him. Uh, you know, reach out to these victims who don't feel safe. I also heard, you know, Kingston City School District delivering meals in, in Elmendorf Street, and literally as they're driving through, there were shots fired in the middle of the day. Pizza and delivery girl yes. from, from Savonis. You're kidding. Yeah. No, I didn't know that. Yeah. Yes. She wasn't shot out. She was there while they were shooting at each other. Yeah. My yes. son, my son works cover. for Savonis. He delivers okay. during the summer times when he's home at college. Oh, he knows yeah. the girl. He got the story from her firsthand, and you know she, she had to hit the ground and got up and, Isn't and ran. That yeah. So and she's tragic. she's a young girl. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and this was a beautiful, vibrant, successful city. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is unacceptable. Yes. You're being so polite and dancing around uh, the, the whole thing. <laughs> I was this. <laughs> here, I don't want to put you on the spot. Here comes a size okay. twelve. Well, here comes a okay. size twelve. Okay. Business people, you have other interests. I don't. I'm leaving. We were told it's not my Even fault. Even when you were staying, you were it, vocal, it's not so my it doesn't fault, matter. <laughs> and there's nothing I can do because I'm doing the best I can. That's what we got. Mm -hmm. Now, we did. you made a, 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 a straightforward proposal. We at, we're asking you to come out in opposition to bail reform. And, and I think there was some attempt to do that. Is yes. that correct? Yes, that is correct. He did come out, and, the, oh, and, that, and that's great. That. That's great. He, he did, and not against, and, and I agree with him, a, a modification, right? Because, I mean, there are, I would agree, there are some silly offenses. You don't need to hold somebody. Mm -hmm. um, in, By the in, way, we never did. Just, yeah, just okay, for clarity. Yeah, we never did what? We never held people on bail for stupid crap. Right, right. That was, Back that's a, that, you, you make a decision based on the person, Right. The crime and their likelihood to return to court. That's what bail is for. And that should be left up to a judge. Correct. Not right. dictated from Albany. Great Sorry. segue. Got it. Because, uh, you know, that's really... So, so going back to our meeting with the mayor, um, I think our group really views this as we need to come together as a community, meaning elected officials and the community, to solve this problem. We really need to work together. And I really hope, you know, I've extended that, that offer with the mayor, and I really hope that uh, How he's many willing. did you bring in? Um, over 1,000. Wow. Uh, we have 3,500 members. And that also is like. Pop people coming into a pop up, taking time on a Saturday morning to come down to By the way, stadium. These are not people from Fishkill or Timbuktu right. Right. or so, you know. Right. These this are isn't locals. an online these petition. Are, this is these Correct. are locals. All local Kingston residents. Right. Yes. Right. Not not from, and no day. one from Minnesota. Nope. Nobody, Nobody from, from Minnesota, Minnesota. wanting statues torn down. <laughs> yeah. No. In fact, on all those petitions, there were addresses. Yes. And yes. signatures. Accountability. So, yeah. Transparency. Yeah. No bullhorn. You know, no you got horn at a city hall meeting. Three These point, are real taxpayers. Three point five thousand members, uh, uh, right, on the Facebook page. Yes. So you brought him three right. 
3,500 supporters right. if he'll do the right thing mm -hmm. right. and lead our city out of this we tragic mess. We want to be an ally. Mess. We want to be allies. We want to help. We want to help. help. Yep. So, uh, so you something know, happening I, I, tonight. I, I, above, but <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't feel. Well, well I think, and and let's let's talk about that for a minute, right? So I think he. Um, you know, I think there are a lot of people in this community that are very upset with some of the, the previous positions that he's taken, some of the previous legislation that he's supported, and, 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 and that's in the past, okay? And, and that's what people need to understand. I'm looking at right now. Mm -hmm. I don't care what you did yesterday. I don't care what you did last year. New chapter. People, people need to Hopefully. be positive about this, and let's give him an opportunity to come to the table and let's change this together. Let's right. not dwell on the past. And either he's going to come with us or he or he isn't, and we'll leave him behind and, and we'll move forward. I really yeah. truly hope he will, yeah. and I That's really truly think that That's in his right. heart, yeah, 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 that safety is a concern of his. He has right. a child. Yeah, yeah, right. Um, but he also has people, you know, that are yeah, loved um, ones, friends. Yeah, you know, yeah, absolutely. So it's, it, he's in a so. So, so let's, anyway, let's remain. Positive I'm going to remain positive. Right, I'm going to remain point. positive. And Scott will. Oh, you're wonderful. Scott will uh, <laughs> <laughs> provide. Take, take the Thorazine. I'll take my Thorazine. I'll <laughs> right. calm you down. <laughs> right. I'm just doing the best I can. Right. You all have a, a role to play. Pat, yeah. you're a businessman. You're a family man. You have a, a home here. Uh, you, you had no agenda going into this. No, and I'm I'm not a political person. Yeah. Right. You know, but I know what's right and I know what's wrong. So, and I do agree with Val. I mean, it does start at the top. We need a tone at the top that mm -hmm. supports law enforcement, that supports public safety, and so that's the bottom line. Uh, some people become immediately uncomfortable when you say, "I support law enforcement." They get all bunched up and think you're a pro cop guy. Mm -hmm. now, obviously, I'm a pro cop guy. I have tried to start saying. I'm pro law and order. I'm pro public mm -hmm. safety. Public safety. safety. I get that we need to do, make some improvements in the police department. As a retired officer, I'll accept that we can always do something that we do well better. Mm -hmm. Got it. But one of the things that I, I <clears throat> kind of came with, uh, came away with from that meeting was the chief kind of outlining some of the training that they've gone through, and mm -hmm. it, it's really impressive. I mean, we have an excellent department. We, we really, really do. do, and I think the public should feel feel comfortable with that and feel feel great about that. That they are a highly trained police force. Yes, they are, so. and well, they're accountable. <clears throat> they're very accountable. What I'd like to see happen, and this is my comment, I'd like to see the reins removed. When I when I was an active duty police officer under Jim Riggins. We engaged proactive policing where we, we went out into the city that. and we, we addressed problems before they started. We were proactive. We stopped and talked to people. Not stop and frisk. That's not it. It's, it's become engaged in the community. I'd like to see that happen. That was, as according to the mayor, that's been removed. And his, his own admission the past, yeah. whatever, eight to ten years, they have not done any proactive policing. So yeah, that's not great. look what and we got. Let me, let me just throw out a little bit. Uh, uh, Three three one nine two five five. You have a question for Val Dwyer, Pat Ford from uh, uh, Concerned Kingston Citizens Group. Uh, please give us a call and either express an opinion, ask a question. Uh, this is your community radio, right? Amen. Let's, let's hear Amen. from. Let's hear from. Call me up. Tell me I'm an idiot. Yeah. So, no. no and, and I do. I do want to say uh, that that is one of the things the mayor said is I, I can't control it. these people are coming in from outside the community, and I think that speaks to. I've spoken to a lot of people that that are living in Midtown, and and a lot of them have the same message. Like they're you know they kind of want the proactive policing. They want that mm -hmm. relationship with the police department. The police department should know the players in the neighborhood, right. so there's a good relationship there. And then guess what? When those people come in from out of town who are trying, who don't have good intentions for our city, the police force knows mm -hmm. that that they're not from here. So I do believe, and I think we all believe, and and I, I mean I I I hope I'm not wrong in saying that I. It sounded like maybe the chief and the mayor would be open to proactive policing did for you patrols. did you for patrols did you did you gather that or what did you the chief is an appointee an appointee of the mayor whoever whoever the mayor may be not not this mayor necessarily um, and so often the police chief will serve at the mayor's pleasure and do as they are dictated to from but the, on high you can't get fired just they cannot get fired. They can be removed from the position right. of chief to their last civil service position. They right. cannot get fired. Um, that's that's a yeah. not a legal method unless they do something you know, wrong. But yeah. 
Um, so I, I, I can't, I don't want to speak for the chief. As I said at the meeting, he's a friend of mine. <clears throat> Uh, I care about him very much. He, mm -hmm. He's great uh, guy. I, lo I love him. I yeah. love him dearly. But the model of, uh, but, but I disagree with this uh, uh, approach of reactive policing rather than proactive. proactive. Policing. I'd love for him to but say, <coughs> "I want to do this." So he's waiting for that from the mayor. Mm -hmm. So the model of uh, <clears throat> community policing and is not a new one, right? I mean, it's all it's over the place. It's, it's it's been around for a Rudy long Giuliani. time, and it works. Rudy right. Giuliani and it works. Uh, uh, so to me, it in the in the. Uh, I, I guess I don't see the downside of it. What's what's wrong with it? And and it's just to me like a no brainer. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, it I is. you know, it's so so to hesitate on an answer there to me is like yeah, yeah something wrong. Absolutely, well, community think? police. You guys were there. I, I'm I'm jaded, right? Because I have a career with the city. You're hearing you were hearing that maybe for the first time. So, what did you think about those answers? We're doing the best we can. It's not my fault. Pregnant pause, right, right there. Yeah, Pregnant I thought, pause. I thought the you know <laughs> there were very very measured responses, and you know they yeah. they weren't very pointed responses so it was it was a little difficult to to gauge kind of where where they were at so that's yeah. why val asked some very pointed questions okay. kind of yes or no questions because we wanted to we wanted to right. know where they stood and and again we want to work with them we want to make sure that we're we're kind of an ally right and mm -hmm. we, we kind of go in the same direction because that was the offer you, right and, yeah and as yes. you mentioned there's so, a lot of people that have come out and signed petitions and those are all voters in the city of kingston right those exactly are people that want public safety and, and your group is pretty diverse right you yes. have you have ethnic mix uh, age mix, gender mix. You, you, I mean, this is not just Republican, you know, Democrat, all, Independent. I'll, I'll, I'll call. I'll call, yeah. I'll call. It's not a group of stale male and pale. Yeah. <laughs> right. And and it's as a matter of fact, you're over at Keegan. <laughs> <laughs> stale male pale. Come on. I got, I got you got. It. You got. You got it. I got it. No, I mean, I'm old saying, white guys is what you're trying exactly. to say. It's not exactly. a bunch of old white guys. Exactly. No. Exactly. Yeah. yeah that, that's who's uh, defeating the. Uh, it happened the that in our group that met that day. There were two people of color, mm -hmm. a woman. And two white guys. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. How's that? And that's yeah. my point. It's it's so it, it it's representative of the community we're in, and and it should be. I, I'm curious about where you see this going in terms of next steps. So uh, you know. So I'm glad you asked that because I did want to. I don't want I, this half hour goes so fast. Oh, we kind of need an hour, but um. Next <laughs> <laughs> time, girl, you're here for okay. an hour. Okay. Uh, so I was very very happy to see the DA come out and say that it was sending the wrong message that those two shooting suspects were released. Very happy. And that's one of the reasons why we asked the mayor to also come out. We knew that was coming. And uh, we asked the mayor to come out and, and say that too. Um, you know, and, and I've asked the question to several members of, uh, you know, the, the community that should know the answer. Is, is that, was that discretion of judge or is that bail reform? And, and I, I get a mixed answer. It's a little bit of both. Mm -hmm. You get no and answer is what you yeah. get. A waffle. And, yeah. And, and the reality is, at the end of the day, I don't care. Um, we're going to approach it from, you know, f from both angles. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's not sending the wrong message. It's certainly, and, and Pat just said something to me in the hallway about, you know, that person who who lives nearby where where that that person is. Like, how does that make them feel? You know, they're they're victimized again. You see again, somebody and shooting, <coughs> and then that evening you see they're them out back for at dinner. the house across they're the street. They're out dinner. Right. I'm out of here, man. Yeah. I'm how, not living how, in this how, city. How likely are you to help law enforcement if, uh, if yeah. you know they're going to be happen? out? Terrified. Yeah. People are it's afraid of criminals. If you're anti-law enforcement, you're a criminal. Yeah. Because anybody who's not a criminal wants a safe place to right. live. And work. It's part of a civil society, right? Well, and I did, and I did say, talking about that, that was one of our points with the mayor was, you know, safety has to come first. If if you, everything if else everything else will fall into right. place, right? You'll have jobs, you'll have an economy. People will want to pay Tourists. everything. Everybody will want to raise a family here. They'll want to patronize your your businesses. Everything falls around that Look, topic. The city of Newburgh. The city safety of Newburgh has been in this struggle. I worked there in 1977. At, at St. Luke's Hospital. It was, wasn't even born it yet. was, I understand when? that. 77? 77. Wasn't That's yet. the year I was born. <laughs> <laughs> Bingo. I'm telling you, it's been that long in Newburgh because of lack of, it, it, it was a violent city. Mm -hmm. I mean, our, our emergency room at St. Luke's, we had shootings regularly, knifings regularly. We, there was a woman, I'll never forget this, we took her in, homeless person. She, she had this coat on that she'd never get rid of, would not get rid of. Why? Because she opened it. She had knives on this side, other instruments on this. You know, so She was scared out of her mind, homeless person. But that's what happened in Newburgh. 
That and yeah. Newberg has now just it's never here. It's never recovered. New, yeah. Newberg. I'm sorry, I have to say it, Tony. It's a left-wing liberal agenda, uh, and those leaders that that are are in the liberal Democratic Party are the ones who are in charge, and it's their policies that have created this mess. Yeah, it's it's uh, so I, I think w what the group is doing is exactly what needs to be done. A yeah. uh, counterbalance to you know a, a loud perhaps. Uh, I'll say smaller minority group of people in terms of numbers, and the silent majority sits on the sideline. Mm -hmm. So good for you. Work. <laughs> <'Cause> they're, <laughs> they're at work. They're at work. But I think there is a voice, and I think it's being expressed uh, in, com in, by the way. in common sense expressed. ways. This is not ranting, raving, screaming, bullhorn stuff. No. This is this is good. You know, dialogue, yeah. measured, right. signed letters, addresses. Yeah. Taxpayers, residents, people who use the city, it, uh, these folks it's are, are professionals. It's a thoughtful approach. And so I, we'd like I, to see the, you know, the enhanced police patrol, Midtown, um, that kind of continue, and also with school resource officers. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we touched yeah, that. Yeah, the SROs. Yeah, the SROs, yeah, the SROs. yes, yeah. yep. So we've, we've Rise Up Kingston that. adamantly opposed to SROs in the schools. Right. Ridiculous. We, we turned in over yeah, a thousand. If you have a child in the school, um, I think you're you're in favor of it. I mean, yeah. every... Yeah. every person that I know that has kids in the school district, they're, they're 100% in favor I, right. of I don't have kids in the school district. I'm in favor of it. Yeah. 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 I, I love SROs. And, and the SROs made an impact on my mm -hmm. children, and I love those guys yep. and girls that do it. Yep. We're going to have one next week. Harry Waltman's coming in. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. And I, and I will say, uh, just from my, my daughter played on the high school basketball team, and I share this a lot. You know, a lot of the night games, it was sad. You, you see the kids that were, you know, hanging around at the game because they don't want to go home. Mm -hmm. And nonstop I see that interaction they're interacting with the SROs mm -hmm. and you know for them it is a positive role model mm -hmm. uh, you know because they they don't have that at home so they are doing you know they are impacting everyone it, it's not in just a in a way. positive yeah. way um, and that's what that's what uh, a concerned Kingston is asking for, for. Uh, restoration of the budget yep. uh, for the police department to uh, increase the number of patrol officers uh, th because we've lost some due to retirement. Right. Back to a historical uh, number. Yeah. Back to our historical high number. So there, on your uh, Facebook post is public hearing city budget is this yeah, Friday. Friday. Please talk about that. Yeah. Because you want people to come out and support the police. So, right. so Friday, if you go on City of Kingston's website, you'll see there's a budget hearing 5 o'clock on Friday night. If you want to speak, which I would encourage all city residents that are concerned with the violence and the safety, that you have to uh, reach out to the city clerk by 12 p.m. the emails on there in order to get on the agenda to speak I would encourage all of you to call in and and to voice your support that the police budget is the most important line item Amen. in that budget um, so I, I would encourage all of you I do very quickly want to jump back to bill reform because that's really what I wanted mm -hmm. to talk about this whole time but again we need an hour mm -hmm. um, is my hope with all of this is I really want this community to come together and and to request that Kevin Cahill as our assemblyman to sponsor a bill to amend <clears throat> bail reform because it is very negatively impacting our community and, and we and others need in New York State, not and just others here, right? and we need to act quickly. So do you hear that, Kevin Cahill, our state assemblyman? There are 3,000 people that are asking you right. to get rid uh, or modify this bail reform bill and, and stop this nonsense. There you go. And KCR underwriter, by the way. He's a KCR underwriter, so I'm trying to be nice. But <laughs> yeah, listen, that's his job. He's our no, state no, assembly. And we, we have to work together. He needs yeah. to. Have he met? needs to. Have you met with him? Uh, I have not met with him yet. We're getting into bail reform next. Uh, okay, that's going to be. That's going to be. I just want to make the, the point. You're also yeah. asking for the restoration of the of the um, SROs, keeping yes. them in our schools. We'd like to see the blue and gray program that Pat uh, spoke of. That is the combined law enforcement effort of the Sheriff's Department, State Police, and KPD with uh, enhanced and, and extra patrols continue right. because, you know, it's we've got violence. Yes, that's right? in the letters. Yes, yes, that's in the letters. Yeah. Yep. And, and back on the SRO, so we did turn in over 1,000 uh, letters. Uh, and, uh, you know, as I know they said last night at the school board, the kids are going back. I mean, we received many emails, many phone calls. I did. Are, are they going to be there? I'm not, I, don't, I don't feel comfortable sending my kids if they're not mm -hmm. there. I mean, real panic, mm -hmm. real panic. 
and we did confirm they are going to be there. Uh, there is an SRO advisory committee that's going to start meeting next month. Um, it's public Great. information now. I'm very happy to announce that I have been asked to be a part of that committee. Oh, so I want to let everybody know that I can assure you that your voices we have at least will be voices. heard. Right. Right. Yes. Good. And I think it's a really good mix of people. I have a really, really positive um, outlook That's on so how good. things good. will turn out. Good. So That's so good. Thank you so much. All right. We uh, uh, come Pat down Ford, there. Val Dwyer, uh, thank you for what you've done. You've concerns, stepped forward. Concerned Kingston. Go you've on stepped Facebook forward page. when others have stepped back, and that's very much appreciated. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to take a short break and be right. back with Les Lombardi. Thank Listening to Kingston Community Radio on WGHQ Kingston on your radio at 9:20 a.m. and 92.5 FM, and also online at mykcr.org. On top of first-class care, you will never receive a bill. The only thing we had to worry about was just keeping Azalea comfortable. St. Jude saved her life. Finding cures, saving children. Learn more at stjude.org. A message from the American Migraine Foundation. It's an absolute nightmare. There's pain that does not stop. I feel trapped by migraine. Migraine is a disabling disease. I feel like I'm dying. You feel like the world's closing in on you. There's nothing you can do. It's like you're trapped in your head. There's no escaping it. You can't leave your body. Don't suffer alone. Make your move against migraine. Visit AmericanMigraineFoundation.org to find help, learn more, and get connected. We are Lions. We bring hope where it's needed. We are a global force for good. Support causes that matter. Change lives. Change communities. Change the world. We can do more together than we can alone. Join in. Experience the joy of serving. Be part of the movement. Give back. Let's unite the world for good. We are Lions. You can be too. Visit WeServe.org. Central Hudson reminds you that summer thunderstorms can strike with strong, gusty winds, knocking down trees and power lines. If you see a downed power line, call 911 immediately to report it. Power lines can carry an electric current strong enough to cause injury or death. Stay at least 30 feet away from a fallen line. Don't try to move it or anything that has come in contact with it. And never drive over a power line. Remember, your safety matters. Everyone is talking about health care these days. America spends twice that of other developed countries on our health care system, yet our health ranks near the bottom. How can we stop spending so much and getting so little? By shifting to a system that gives more patients access to strong primary care. Primary care can help make America healthy again. To learn more about the benefits of primary care, visit www.healthisprimary.org. This message is brought to you by America's Family Physicians. Hi, my name is Jackie Lovezzo. I'm from Lake Katrine. And I support the Kingston Community Radio because it is an invaluable resource to the community and its residents. This portion of Kingston Community Radio is brought to you by Ulster Savings Bank. Visit the newest branch, conveniently located at the Ulster Commons Plaza in Lake Katrine. Experience the difference that local community banking offers with the convenience of another great location, easy access, plenty of parking, and a 24-hour ATM. Ulster Savings Bank, invested in community, invested in you. Member FDIC. Matt. Yeah. Flash! Boom! All right, we're back on, folks. Thunder Thursday, our last half hour, we have... Uh, the big guy from uh, the Ulster County Italian American Foundation and also basketball. From many. The big Hall guy fame, from many Boys places. and Girls <laughs> Club. Uh, Les Lombardi, welcome and good morning. You guys are buddies. We're from heart friends. You're heart, heart, heart friends. We're so. heart friends. We met. We Tony met. And I are hardly friends. <laughs> hard friends okay? so. I was oh, a, a, a recent re recovery from, from heart surgery, went over to Northern Duchess Hospital to cardiac rehab, and the first guy to greet me there was Les Lombardi, who was there on a treadmill as I was trying to uh, find my way, and an instant friendship was born, and then we found out we have many mutual friends, 
And uh, it was my great honor and pleasure to meet you and become friends. Thank you, Les. And yeah, that was a unique experience. They've completely closed the facility now. It's by really? appo appointment only for Is that because part of the pandemic. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And um, so we used to have, as you know, our own group. We I did. Yes. Great folks. Yeah. And the amazing part, Scott, and you know, I mean, we were teenagers compared to some of those. <laughs> <Yeah. people. laughs> <laughs> Made you feel good. I was the youngest guy in the room. I'll tell you that. <laughs> I know you were, and I was. I was pretty far down the totem pole. Yeah. But when they started talking about the war, I didn't know which one. <laughs> yeah. You know, it was like. Uh, so I didn't realize you had some uh, ticker issues too. You had some heart issues, or you were just working out there. What was your deal? No. What they did is they had a. We had to take for twelve weeks or whatever. Whatever your insurance allowed, yeah. they put you on a post, monitor. Post cardiac. You, you had had cardiac, cardiac surgery. Yes. yes, so I had a couple um, couple stints put in, and okay. they did some in, indoor plumbing. Gotcha, um, gotcha. And, then, um, <laughs> right. and then they sent me there, and they worked on her diet, and then we did that. But Wonderful once, program. Yeah. Wonderful and, program. And then once I got going, I met all these guys. And I'm telling you, 96 years old, 92 wow. years well, old. Two well, veterans. Wow. Uh, community, that's, you know. That's encouraging. People up here, uh, or for, from New York City and relocated here. Just a wonderful... I mean, the stories that were told oh, there. Oh, I know. And the things that they did, yes. you know. And um, I actually Mostly had a males. couple of them. Mostly no, males. No, it was mixed. mixed yeah, no, but I had a couple of them come to my class down in Marist. No you kidding. Know? It was like yeah. great. Yeah. yeah, and it was it was just a, a great social experience mm. for me to meet people from all over, from Kingston. So guys used to drive down from Claverack and yeah. all up that way. Farmers. Where are they everything. going now? I mean, now, now, you know, I want to say that it was a great program. If you are a heart failure survivor or a heart <coughs> patient, you need it, you need to do that. Right. And, and I thought this was expertly run, right. monitored, maintained, clean. Uh, I don't know where Duchess. they go now. Northern yeah. Duchess Hospital. They did a fantastic job. Yeah. Uh, I don't know where people go now. I don't yeah, know what would happen. Uh, I, I guess they do have it over here at Kingston. Um, and then some people go to, like, you know, a workout gym. place. Uh, but yeah, you know, well, the I mean, center. You, you center. can't just go to a gym it's when you're monitored. someone right. like we are posting. And there's a doctor right there. We would see the doctor come in and check everything. We had our heart blood monitors. Pressure, heart monitors on, blood pressure. You know, they were on it. Yeah. Right. It was good. So give a little background. You're a Poughkeepsie guy originally. Yeah, right? actually, I grew up in Poughkeepsie. Yeah. Um, in the Italian section. I right, went Mount to Carmel. Lady, Mount Carmel. Lady of Mark Carmel. Yeah, <clears throat> you know all about that. We're really, my kindergarten class is famous. We were in Life magazine. Mm -hmm. Really? Way back in 1953, you know, black and white, <laughs> you know, so. <laughs> why, were then, you um, why were you in it? Why, why, what was the nature of the picture? It was a story on the LaFouch family, mm -hmm. and you know the LaFouches, yeah. okay? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it was about immigrants coming to the United States, and all of them were in music and working, and they all went to Mark Carmel. Like, yeah. every year you had two or three LaFouches in but the I, class. And didn't most of the class uh, was bi bilingual at the time, Yeah, right? well, the our kindergarten, kids? I told you this story, and I, I tell people this, and they look at me. Our kindergarten class was bilingual. We had a nun, Sister Mary Annunziata, okay. <laughs> and she'd make you count in Italian and then count in English, you know. Wow. And then when we went to first grade, they cut it out, and they said the parents all got together and wanted their kids to, learn English. to be American English, and to speak English. Yeah. And Isn't that wonderful? Sad. No, I think it's sad because yeah. I, I, I. No, no. But well, I'm glad that you keep yeah. you keep your your native language. Right. But that, that sentiment, you came to America for a reason. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You didn't yeah. leave where you came from because it was great. Right, you right. You come to a crappy place, did you? No. You left a crappy place and came here for a dream. Yeah. And you came here to be an American. We're all immigrants. Yeah, we We're are. all immigrants. Yeah. But we came here to be Americans. Yeah. Please don't come to my country and try to turn it into the toilet you left. <laughs> Uh, to come here, all right? right? Come here and be an American. We welcome you. So I have a story for you. So uh, I think it's almost two weeks ago. We did our mini festival, right? Yeah, Italian, and Italian we have the U.S. flag and we have the Italian flag up there. And Andrew Hoban belts out right. both national anthems. Right, yeah. I can't tell you, three to four people came up to me and said, that's an amazing ceremony. 
Yeah. And I'm going, we've been doing that for years. <laughs> oh, you know? Right, right. And, and to sing both national anthems, respect where you came from, yeah. but also realize that we need to be a very important part of this community in this country. Right. And to have people come up and say that to me, and these are yeah, younger yeah. people. Yeah. And, uh, and Tony started that, but I think it's just a wonderful way to do it. It you is know? a wonderful way. It's a great organization. Yeah. We celebrate our heritage. But right. we are all, no matter what country you came from right. or what socioeconomic group you, you belong to, we're all Americans we're, when we come We're here. Americans. American. <laughs> Mar That's what my president said. America. American. America. <laughs> well, so, you know, I, I, I mean, I'm really proud of it. You know, Tony got the whole thing going, but, um, you know, the impact that we're having on the community and, you know, people. Well, it's a yeah, great and my wife, people. Marianne, keeps saying this is a study. Yeah, right. You know, in, in yeah. socialization and, 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 you know, just group meetings and, and putting something together. And camaraderie and right. friendship. Uh, and, these people, yeah. we all love to be together. This yeah. pandemic is driving them crazy. Right. Yeah, you know? but we've met two or three times anyway, two times maybe, right? Up yeah, well, we met, we met in July. We had our, um, right. you know, and in August we had our uh, bocce day, July. Right, right, you know, right, so, right, right. so we've had And then we had a, a great presentation in September with um, Anton Jackson. and, and yeah. Cav, you know, Ed Jackson. Right. And then black, we guy, black guy who grew up in the Bronx um, <clears throat> becomes an Italian professor, fluent. Uh, all, he went go to all his friends' houses. You know, the guy likes to eat, you know, so he went to all his friends' house, right? And, and they started teaching him Italian. <clears throat> and he's more Italian than most Italians, <laughs> you know. Uh, Ed Jackson, amazing. He has guy. a house has a house over it, in Perugia that he's beautiful. been going to for twenty some he's, years. You know, he's he's a, a, a um, university teacher, right? Yes, An Italian, yes. yeah. I, I, Black guy. I've said this many times as a as a Irish kid from the mountains. I married into an Italian family, and and you know it's hard to get in, but once you're in. You're in, baby. <laughs> right. You're part of the family. Right, right, right. The, 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 the welcoming nature of, and, and the sense of you're not a, a, an in-law. Right. You're, you're part of the you're family. You're part of the family now. Period. That's right. it. You're in. Good, bad, ugly, warts and all. Right. You're in, baby. You're in. Yep. And I'll ever be appreciated. the Italian set up, we have in-laws and outlaws. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Right. There's some people right. you've got to be careful with. So back to you. So after Poughkeepsie, you did what? Where, where um, was I went your to, college? And I know you guys are going to bust me, but I went for four years high school in New York City at Cathedral High School which was where you went to become a priest. Oh, geez. So I was there four years. Fatherless. Wow. But I will tell you, in those four years, um, I got a wonderful education. Right. I, mean, I took did. Latin, I took Greek, and I did right. all that. And then all after boys, that... All boys, obviously, all boys school. Yeah, all boys. And um, and one of, one of my classmates is here in Poughkeepsie. Actually, I spoke to him yesterday. We started out with 104 in our freshman class, and 36 graduated from high school. Wow. Holy cow. Yeah, so that's the dropout. Yeah. That's a tough of the 36, school, huh? Of the 36, only about 27 went on to the fifth year, which was the first year of college. I decided that there were other things going on, and I ended up going to Marist College and being a commuter. So, um, yeah. so you know, I graduated from Marist. I got a job at Coleman High School. Um, I, I joke about it because when I look at my Social Security statement, <laughs> it's, see what it's I made at Coleman. It's a little weak. <laughs> I said that was volunteer work. Light years. That yeah. was volunteer work. Yeah. But I, I um, my real love and passion, and Tony knows this, was yeah. basketball. And, um, you know, I would have taken the Coleman job for nothing uh, yeah, to right, coach yeah. basketball. So I did that. And then after um, I got my master's in, uh, at New Paltz, and then I went for five years down to Maryland to a big, big high school in Potomac, Maryland. We won a state championship. And then I got my college coaching job for eight years. And then... Um, that got really tough when I had a family and everything, mm -hmm. and 30, doing recruiting, it's 24 traveling, hours a day, right, Les? Yeah, it's 24 recruiting hours people. a day, seven days a week. Yeah, and it was, I mean, but I love basketball. So, you know, like 35 years ago, I took a job with what was then Anaconda Sports, and uh, kind of the rest is history. Spent 32 years there selling basketballs and yeah. being connected with the basketball world and, you know, and, and bringing teams to Ireland and having Chinese teams come over. 
So I've had my full run. And then yeah. two years ago, Maris was really nice. After 50 years, they let me come back. <laughs> so, so I was on probation for 50 yeah. years. And, um, and so I'm back now teaching one course in, um, in principles and problems of coaching. And I'm really, I really enjoy that. That's great. But lately, it's been Italian American Foundation. I go down to my basement and I work all day. And I come it's a up full time job, it's, man. I, I He's made it you, into a full time. I won't put you on the spot, but you're, you've got some miles under your belt. This is <laughs> yeah. a lot of work you're doing at. Uh, yeah. In what, what what do they call them? The golden years, right? Yeah. I don't know how yeah. golden they are, but. Uh, yeah, he's not downshifting. You're, he's you're he's not, you're, you're, um, he's you're, upshifting. You're upshifting. Yeah. But yeah. you know what? This am this pandemic's put a lot of pressure on a lot of us, you know, and there are so many people that are suffering and, you know, what we could do to make it better, we have this community care thing uh, where we give out This is the foundation, stuff. right? Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. yeah. And then foundation, right? this Mary Tuma, who's the Energizer Bunny, you know, she'll get a call and we need yeah, coats for great. these people and we need food for these people yeah. and she's in the car running around with, um, you, you know. coats? Huh? You guys need coats? Yeah. I got a box of coats because we're moving. All right. I got well. a box of winter coats that are really nice. We'll take Ma it. Mary Tum is a family, okay. so I will make I sure and bring married. this to Mary. Yeah, yeah, yeah Well, Tony's got the rescue vehicle. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. The pickup. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's that's been part of it, and as Tony great. knows, yeah. you know. Yeah, we'll just take those. Great. great. Okay. Yeah. It's yeah. just the, the mini festival. We didn't know what we were getting into, but it turned out really well. I right. think it was really well. Yeah. So... But you're and you're also affiliated with on the boys and girls club board, right? Yeah, I mean, okay. you know, we talk about Kingston, and and, and you know, we all, going on. you know, right. we moved back here. We lived over in Clinton Corners for a while, and <laughs> both my in-laws were sick, so we moved back here eight years ago. But I was always through Anaconda involved with the boys and girls club because I would get the speakers for the steak and burger, and you know, do different program, things. Wonderful program, great organization. Oh, yeah. Great. So, so anyway. Um, and then recently, I needed to get back into coaching, so I went down to the children's home. Mm -hmm. And I thought I on the show last week. Yeah, and I thought I coached. Well, until you coach at the children's home, yeah, you yeah, find yeah, out yeah, what yeah. coaching <laughs> is really about. You know, and I miss those kids. I really do because they're there through no fault of their own yeah. in most cases, and they needed the instruction, but they needed somebody adult to influence, really right? positive adult yeah, influence. Yeah, and they looked at me like. You know, I was Coach Lombardi. They thought they yeah. were looking at Coach Lombardi, yeah. you know, yeah. and that was a great experience, and I can't wait till we get back. Positive to role models. They need positive Absolutely. role models. They need yeah. to know there's no such thing as a bad kid. There's <laughs> only bad adults, and good adults need to step up and, and give them a role model. And but nobody, and, and you guys understand this, nobody ever, and they ha you have volunteers in every organization, yeah. but I don't think anybody ever took the time to really convey to them how a sport transcends everything mm -hmm. you know and i said right. you, you guys are basically some days in lockdown but when you mm -hmm. come down to the gym this is your own world when you step between those lines you got to forget about all that other stuff and just yeah. love the game i have a quick story about this uh, when my boys were in highland high school uh both were playing soccer and Highland brought in a, a, a fellow from Major League Soccer to train the, their kids, and he happened to be from Belfast uh, in Ireland, mm -hmm. right? <clears throat> His name is Graham Brown, still a good fam great family friend. And uh, Graham came and, you know, instructed our kids. We um, uh, visited him after, you know, a, a couple of years down the road. Graham started um, a soccer team in Ireland with kids from the Republic, which were Catholic, and kids from the north which were protestants and he had them on the same bus working together on the pitch on the soccer field becoming one team regardless of religion you know and he paired those kids up if you were protestant you had to be with a catholic right. and he demystified that whole thing through sports the religious aspect went away you're now my teammate and my brother right. you're not the opposition you you're not an enemy. is different exactly yeah. you're, you're the same and and that was a model program at the time because this was back in 2000 you know, 1998, 2000, mm -hmm. and neck of the woods. Right after some bombings, I mean, they, you know, they they were serious stuff. There, they would roll a car into a gas station and blow it up. I mean, it was you know serious uh, stuff. The program that we did was predominantly um, in Dublin. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, Marion okay. High School, which is a Marist school, and University College Dublin. But um, we went up to this guy 
Gareth McGuire, he said, oh, you got to come up to Belfast. you got to come <clears> up to Belfast. Yeah. And he would call like every half hour. Big deal. When we were what Dublin. year was this, roughly? Yeah, this is like um, 2000, maybe five, 2006. Okay, so tensions were still... Ian was yeah. in, in um, Dublin as a Fulbright scholar. Your wife. Yeah, for a full wow. for a full semester. So I would make conjugal visits over. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, of course, uh, I... Um, I uh, got involved with the Irish basketball thing, and we started with Coleman going back and forth. But this guy in Belfast said, Les, I need to get you involved in Belfast. I need to get you. So we you took a trip up. up. Yeah. So we, Armed guards we, at the border. Yeah, So and, and it's a different world. So yeah. so the, the first thing we do is we get there at night. Of course, we go to the pub and everything, and we start talking. And then the next morning we get up, and I said, oh, let's take a, a tour. Okay, I said, oh, okay. So, long story short, we get on the tour bus, we start rowing, rowing, riding around, and we go past the hotel we're staying in. And it was the Europa, and the and the guy on the tour says, "That's the most bombed hotel <laughs> in Belfast." In Belfast, okay, <laughs> and, and, you know, and we walk in, and now we realize why everything is so modern. You know? <laughs> and, 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 you Renovation. Know, and President Clinton stayed there, and then as we get got to meet all the people in Belfast and listen to the Catholic stories and Protestant. their moms coming out and protecting the kids on the soccer field when the bullets started to fly. So we got involved, and I did this thing with hoops um, and uh, what a scholar thing. It was called the Victory Scholars, and we sent over some kids from the MAC and from Marist. But I still have a relationship. I have a consulting agreement with a company in, in Belfast. Mm -hmm. And that whole dynamic, and people don't realize what Brexit is doing there yeah. because all the companies in Northern Ireland are opening up offices in, down in Dublin because wow. they need to be part of the European Union. Mm -hmm. You know, so they might have a t uh, uh, an ability to unite the country a little bit yes, more. Yes, yes. I think they're getting through it, but yeah, but it's 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 phenomenal. Yeah. So, so back to your question about you know basketball has been my life. I mean, I, I think that's phenomenal. Yeah, I just say to people, you know, I don't know. I mean, it's I've been so fortunate with the people that I've met and the things I've done around the world that. You know, and basketball opened that up for you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I would never. I mean, it's my wife said I could find basketball in any country. <laughs> oh. Well, to your point, yeah. to both of your points. My, I coached bitty basketball for the right. city league for right. years. Right. And I credit that with teaching my son mm -hmm. how to interact and learn the story that you tell. Yeah. People who look different from you. Right. We're not different. Right. But often we look different. Maybe. Right. right? We right. come from different places. And those children who were, were a different ethnic background, different racial background, different socioeconomic background, on the basketball court, they were just teammates. Mm -hmm. And they so, made friends. And rooting for and that, each other yes. and cheering and, right. and, and hugging ability, each other. The ability to do that lasted his entire life into his career now. Yeah. Where it doesn't matter where, who you are. He can get yeah. in and get with you. Right. Yeah. No prejudging. Right. So, right. So right. we example. were really fortunate. Back in 1978, we won a state championship in Maryland, which is which was really, really, really unique. Um, but the community that I lived in, Potomac, Maryland, like I had Jack Kemp's kid. I had, you know, the, <laughs> a lot of politicians. The other hand, of entitled white guys. Yeah, I mean, but I also had. It was a community, an Afro-American, uh, you know, community. It was called Scotland. And um, those kids, so every year for 40 some years, we get together. And Marianne comes sometime and she says, How the many? Championship team. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. that's cool. Yeah. So, so anyway, we get together, and Marianne is a social worker, and she's trying to figure out the dynamics, you know? Um, you know, I could remember one time telling a kid to dive on a loose ball, and he looks up, you know, and he says to me, My dad will buy you a dozen, you know? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. So, so that put That's, it for me in right, perspective. Right. But when these kids, it, and we, we talk about it all the time because we get together. One kid went on, played at Georgetown. Eric Smith was a great player. And a couple, one guy's a dentist. Uh, another guy, we don't know what he does. He carries an attache case. <laughs> and, uh, CIA. Yeah, CIA yeah, you guy. know. But so Marianne said, the fact that you guys still get together, the fact that you're like family and brothers, and they would say the same thing, Scott. When we played basketball, okay, 
we were all looked upon once we stepped inside those lines the same. We're all the yeah. same. And Lombardi one color, one didn't color. pick any favorites, and right. we was brutal on all of us, yeah. you know. He, but because of that, exactly. now they're celebrating yeah. their 60th birthdays. I don't know how that happens, okay? <laughs> yeah. They get together, and they have me zoom in and yeah. do all of this. But it goes back to when they were sophomores and juniors those in high school. formative years of, of yeah. young people's lives. And they learn those lessons then. And they learn them often through sports, music, <laughs> right. theater. Exactly. They learn how to work together collectively for a common goal. Right. Yes. And, and that carries, that's a life lesson. That's not a right. basketball lesson or a, a, a band lesson. That's a life lesson. Yeah, correct. We're going to work together. And yeah. the dynamic of it is a lot of reasons... And there's a lot of reasons we have problems. But for some of those kids, sports was the reason they went to school. Mm-hmm. And we had a theater, yeah, yeah. A theater department that was outstanding. Mm-hmm. And even at Coleman, I made my kids try out for the theater. Yeah. And they Great looked program there. Yeah, yeah. And they and they, they looked at me like this guy just landed from Mars, you know. <laughs> but the experiences that you get in your extra quick activities. And when you look at school budgets and they say, oh, we're going to cut out cut music, this, cut out we're going to cut out drama, yeah. you got it wrong. Yeah. You got it wrong. Yeah. You need to those provide those skills. experiences. Valuable. Oh, I agree Invaluable. 100%. You know? uh, my dad was a music teacher. You, know, you, you knew that. You know, those, and those kids, when, when he passed away, the line of people at his wake yeah. blew me yeah. away. Yeah. I didn't know Down them. Street. I didn't know them. Yeah. They said your dad was my teacher. Changed my life. He impacted my life. Yeah. Right. Changed my Thank life. Thank you. You know. Changed my life. Yeah. Yeah. It's great. It's great. Yeah. yeah. Being a coach, being a teacher, being a uh, an advisor, uh, in an extracurricular organization, just. And the other thing too, uh, now that I teach in college and I'm so far removed age wise, and I actually have a class where I line them up from the youngest and I put myself <laughs> as the oldest, you know, and that really makes them think. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. and I'm saying you guys have completely different experiences than I had. Right. And I'll mention John Wood and some of the right. great coaches, Coach and Zeka, you guys. need to teach them. You know, yeah. but on the other hand, the lessons I learned through those coaches, I need to pass on to the yes. younger kids, and yes. I think that's part of what I'm doing. You know, they're valuable lessons and, and they're necessary lessons. Yeah, what a wonderful how do, story. How do we get back to that stuff? You know, how do we get back to you know? Yeah, I we're, we're all values. In this, they're called values. We're all in this together. Me, we're all in this together. It bothers you know? me in professional sports to see the lack of values. Eish, mama mia. I, I, I'm trying not to watch professional sports. I'm a big bas- uh, football fan. Yeah. Um, but, but the lessons that we learn at Biddy Basketball in high school, mm-hmm. in, in middle school, <clears throat> sports, band, uh, choir, uh, uh, theater, uh, chess club, debate club, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Do they still do that? I don't even know if they still do that. Bait. But that... Working. Well, now they just throw Rick yeah, rocks, they throw, rocks, throw rocks, and, rocks. Yeah, rocks. Learning to work together towards a common goal, no matter where you come into the group from, is how we'll save our society. We need to work together towards the common goal of saving our society. And we can take lessons from people like you but, from sports. You know, and, and, and one of the things about Kingston is we have so many great people in this community that support the Boys and Girls Club and support, why? you know, the why. You know, we went Other. to your dinner there. And, you know, Social I think network. one of the things we need to do is through those community organizations, we need to, to get what we call the locals and the newbies to really get all on the same page. Right. You know, and I think that's... Uh, yeah, goal. I mean, goal. Yep. It, it's and really... You got to keep at it. You got to keep at it. Yeah, and, and you know, Tony, we met people through UCIF oh, yeah. that we kind of knew... Okay, really it's kind of like our heart group, yeah, you know. Yeah, we kind of knew. But, but when you really meet know. once a month and you start talking what you're doing, like Nicole just found a $25,000 grant, one of our Italian yeah. members, wow. you know, got a grant opportunity for the Boys and Girls Cup because she, she met the guy at yeah. one of our dinners. And I think... And Whalen, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's Morris is giving us the finger. Okay. It's time to go. Less, yeah. Okay. Uh, can you believe a half hour went that fast? I know. But you two guys... <laughs> you know, <laughs> Uh, thank you for everything you do for the community. Thank you for being you. The Italians. Uh, and thank you yeah. for coming in and spending time with us this morning. It's, it's good uh, to see you again, my yeah, friend. Yeah, we'll have Be to Marmo get... 2.0, by the way. Oh, you know, definitely. Yeah. We all want to be less than Marty. Well, well let's get on the treadmill after this. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Thank uh, you. To our thank listen- you for having me. To our listeners, thank you. God bless safe. you. Be healthy. Be safe. God bless this great nation of ours.
Thank you for sharing the morning with us and participating in Kingston Community Radio.